In the time before the Titans, before the gods of Olympus, a great battle was waged. The wrath of the primordials. The very beings who forged the Earth. Raged out of control for an eternity. And from this rage, this madness of war, the Furies were brought forth. Neither Titan nor God, mortal nor shade, the Furies were bound to no one. For they were the guardians of honor, the enforcers of punishment, the bane of traitors. When Zeus came to power, he found he had little to fear from the sisters. The Furies sought retribution only for those whom they deemed guilty. The first of these traitors was Aegean the Hecatonchores. When the brute pledged a blood oath to Zeus, only to later betray the king of the gods, the Furies were quick to take action. The sisters relentlessly hunted the Aegean, and upon capturing the creature, tortured him without mercy. For the Furies believed death was too kind for this oathbreaker. The Aegean the Hecatonchores became an example to all. A special symbol for those who might think to break a blood oath with a god. Kratos, the great Spartan general, was finally defeated. Driven mad, tortured and uncertain of his surroundings, the warrior found himself captured like a fly in the web of the Furies. Never. Wrong. You seem confused, Kratos. Having trouble remembering our special time together? But then again, we were rudely interrupted by my sister. Electo was never one for manners. Not to worry. I am quite skilled at teaching. Respect! For what you've taken, I owe you that. Which 
We will see how you fare against the Hecatonkeries! you as my sister. He bears a mark like he I have never the one. seen. He will free us from the Fury's grasp. He is cursed. Stay away. to Olympus. I am free!
king for the last time, Spartan! Focusing only on the task ahead, Kratos struggled to remember the weeks prior to his imprisonment. To the time when he set out to break his bond with Ares, the god of war. Your mind is troubled, but your skills are still without equal. Do you have business with me? I do, but this is not the manner to discuss it. I see no other way. You have no reason to trust me, Spartan. I only ask that you try. Your thoughts are not your own, but I can help you. I believe these belong to you. Use these items to still your mind, Kratos. Do not let illusion deceive you. Visions ceased. I see only you. God, you will need this skill for the path ahead. And what path is that? The path of freedom, Kratos. Freedom? Yes, freedom. Freedom from the Furies who relentlessly hunt you in the name of Ares, and ultimately, Freedom from your bond to the god of war himself. 
break an oath with a god. <laughs> of all the minds in question, mine is not the one to worry about. You waver from sound mind to illusion in the beat of a heart. Is that any life for a great warrior? The Furies are near. They cannot know I speak with you. I will draw them away. The truth waits for you in Delphi, Kratos. Seek the Oracle. For those who seek the truth, the heat of Ares' fire has no burn. Take the ice of Poseidon and you will find your path. For those who have eyes to see, I offer the Lightning of Zeus.
please the Oracle this time. I know it. No, no, my gifts. She must have them all. It will have to be enough. Master approaches. You! We have given you all you need for success, and yet you still fail us. The statues were to be completed by now. It is a massive task you have set before us, Master. My brothers, they... they need food and rest. You have not been asked to speak! <laughs> and who will be next? <laughs> You! You there! You are now charged with the task of completing the statues. As you wish. We hope your work is better than that of your friend here. We can no longer stand the sight of you. You make us sick. <clears throat> If you search for truth, the souls of Hades will aid your quest. Decide if they're worthy at our will. I offer nothing. You presume to seek audience with the Oracle, and yet you bring no offerings? Bold. Stupid, but bold. Although, you must have good reason to seek the Oracle, carrying such a mark. Return when you have brought appropriate sacrifice. I have come to see the Oracle. That is what I intend to do. I would have liked to hear your story, warrior. It is a shame you fail to see reason. Remove him. <laughs> we have to find a better slave trader. Impudence. 
mutants. You will not see her. in our temple. You will never see the Oracle. My, quite persistent, isn't he? His persistence only means his death. Not allow you to continue. Stop toying with this fool. Kill him, Casta.
Alethea. The relic you carry has no effect on me. Then I fear you are beyond aid. Do not worry. The situation before me is clear. I have waited for this day. Your thoughts are clouded and your mind conflicted, warrior. I can feel it. You seek the truth? Yes. So be it. But remember, the truth always comes with a price. Enemies. Innocent. Your bond is complete. What's done is done. It cannot be undone. No. The Furies infect your mind because you run from your oath to Ares. They will stop at nothing should you resist. So the Shade speaks the truth. The intentions of Orcos are pure. Orcos? But he is a fury. And he will play his part in time. My time grows short. To be free of the madness that infects you, you must defeat those who hold your bond with the God of War. How can I defeat the Furies when all I see is illusion? Across the sea, the Lantern of Delos keeps the eyes of truth. Delos? Find the eyes, and they will show you the path to freedom. Coward hides himself, Orcos. You know I'm one of the Furies who forged your bond. You would have killed me before I could even speak. Then tell me, what has brought you to this betrayal of your own kind? It was you. The injustice of your oath that made me doubt them. Is it possible that through all your suffering you still do not understand why you were chosen? Why Ares needed you, why he still needs you. Speak clearly. Oh, Kratos. 
the god of war has been plotting for years. I was brought forth by the joining of the war god and the Fury Queen. In rage and insanity, Ares hoped to conceive the perfect warrior. But I was only a disappointment to him. It was my mothers who spared me. They gave me the task of keeping the oaths. Although my burden was great, I was determined to be of service to those who said they loved me. But it was you, Kratos. It was the final task of your bond that made me question the actions of my family. I sought counsel with Aletheia. It was she who revealed to me the plot of Ares to overthrow Zeus. But he needed the perfect warrior. Ares molded you to take down the very walls of Olympus. Ares, destroy my enemies! And my life is yours! To make you beholden only to him, Ares and my mothers devised three blood tasks. Spill the blood of your enemies. The blood of the innocent. The blood of your very... The past is the past, Orcos! The past you now seek to rectify. And I will do so without the aid of a fury. Kratos looked upon the gem. He realized all he need do was fight the forces that gnawed at his mind. His thoughts now clear, the warrior turned his rage to the remaining Furies and their ultimate defeat. watched you over the years. When you were just a boy, I saw the signs. Even the loss of your brother did not sway your focus. The tragedy only improved you. You honed your skills. And now, Kratos, you have fulfilled your promise of greatness. You served with honor. You brought glory to us all, and today, you have earned your place among us as the greatest general Sparta has ever known. So, there is something you value more than ambition! What do you know of the Oathkeeper? 
I know he paid for what he's done. <laughs> they say he was the first marked one, but his father didn't like the way he turned out. I know. I was the first man to be put here by the Furies. See? I've been keeping a record! Orkos was born here. Then his mothers, they... they became... They, they used to be fair. Harsh, but fair. Had something to do with Ares, I imagine. The way they treated him. Oh, their own son. That is no reason to betray your own. Betrayed his own? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> but he did it because of you. I did not ask for his help. <laughs> but you received it nonetheless. Didn't you, Spartan? <laughs> this will make a wonderful addition to the record. If neither pleasure of the flesh or glory will return you to us, then there is only one thing left. Betray you! Kratos knew he was close. Close to a time when illusion would have no power over him. Close to the defeat of the Furies and finally, close to the freedom he so desperately sought. The sooner we get past Delos, the happier I'll be. They say it is cursed. Too bad we can't sail south of Telos. They say the great Archimedes built that statue for Apollo. Why do we stop at this cursed island? He's gone. Let us leave this wretched place. Quickly, for we are cursed too!
leave an army in disarray. Return to us, General. Lead us to victory. You do not exist. You are of my mind. Return to your roots. Return to who you are, Spartan. <laughs> we only need to bring you home. My home is in Sparta! Sister, show him what Sparta does to a traitor! Further now, Spartan. Inside there are the eyes of truth, the very same eyes my mother's ruthlessly pulled from Aletheia. When I learned of the plot between my parents to overthrow Olympus, I could not believe Aletheia's words. Then she showed me the truth. The god of war would bring down the very walls of Olympus. I knew I must stop them. Aletheia and I sought to warn Zeus. But when Ares learned of our attempt, he sent my mothers after us. The 
eyes were brutally ripped from my beloved. She became a prisoner in her own temple. Ares and my mothers knew that if the eyes of truth were hidden, then their wicked plot would not be revealed. And soon they would reign over the gods themselves. To keep their plan in motion, they need you back, Spartan. They will stop at nothing until you return to Lord Ares. Ares will have to find another to do his bidding. I know he will set things right. I'm sorry, Spartan. When I learned that my mothers were close, I came to what- We have special plans for you, my son. All this effort and you still fail. Sisters, we will break him within the walls of Hecatonkeres. Kratos found himself defeated, and this time no Olympian would come to his aid. Satisfied, the sisters returned home with their prize. Within the walls of their prison, they would delve into the broken warrior's soul and entice Kratos back to his place as a servant of Ares. far too long. You can see her in the morning. Come.
In time, you will forget. All that you have lost can be yours once again. If this is what keeps you in service to Lord Ares, then this is what you shall have. It... It is not real! I can be your reality. The hard part is over, Spartan. You have committed the ultimate sacrifice. Offer yourself to us completely, and you shall live in blissful illusion. Never. Then let death be your reality! What is the meaning of this? You have made a poor choice, Spartan. Trinket will not defeat our sister! You defy me? You are but a mortal. You should have taken our offer, Kratos! of the Furies!
Shame, Sparta! Oathbreaker! Truth, but truth will only bring you pain. My death will not free you from this madness. I would not have been strong enough to choose your path, Spartan. Orcos. I would have taken what my mother's offered. I would rather live in truth. I fear you may come to regret those words. Lord Ares still holds your bond. This cannot be. Before you killed them, my mother's once again made me your oath keeper. For you to be free, I must die by your hand. I do not understand. If you do not release me, my father will retain power over you. But even worse, I will live in eternal torture. I have spilled enough innocent blood. There is no other way, Spartan. Destroy the Oath. Kill Ares. Have your revenge. I was never the warrior my father wanted me to be. But please, all I ask, give me an honorable death. With the death of Orcos, the blood oath to Ares was finally broken, and the painful truth rushed back to Kratos' mind. The truth of the murder he committed, the slaughter of his wife and child, the carnage forged from his relentless ambition, surfaced in perfect clarity, and became the visions that would haunt him all of his days.
now free of the Fury's madness, but still tortured by the truth of his past. Kratos left the only home he'd ever known, and set out to undo all that he had wanted. Suffering for years, Kratos, the once great general, now known as the ghost of Sparta, had pledged himself as a champion to the gods of Olympus. In return, he hoped only to rid himself of the nightmares that haunted him for far too long. But for now, his only respite, his only relief from the sins of his past, was found in the heat of battle. And on this day, Kratos had been called upon by the gods to confront an unthinkable evil, unleashed on the city of Attica by the invading Persian army. on this city, Persian. Evil? It is not evil that I bring, Spartan. I bring the might of Persia and the sacrament of purification. As we speak, my basilisk cleanses this land so that it may embrace the glory of the Persian Empire. Olympus has sent a message, and I am here to deliver it. <laughs> then you are just a messenger. So take this message back to your little gods. It will take more than a pathetic Spartan to stop the power of the Empire. Please. Please, spare my life. And I will give you all that you ask. You have nothing I want, Persian. Take my kingdom, my women, my gold. I won't take your riches, but I will take your life. Fulfilling his commitment to the gods, Kratos defeated the basilisk brought forth by the Persians. But this small victory 
would not satisfy the man who had come to be known as the Ghost of Sparta. Is this all you would have me do? Is there nothing else? through the sky and the world plunge into darkness, Kratos knew this was not a sign from the gods. What treachery is this? Setting his sights on the glowing horizon, Kratos made his way toward the mysterious light. But there was more afoot than Kratos could possibly know. darkness, Morpheus, the god of dreams, awakened to a world where he and only he wielded power. The land was slowly overrun by a black fog that engulfed everything it touched. The power of Morpheus affected even Kratos as he was haunted by a strange melody. And as Kratos approached the temple, it became clear that the task ahead was more than he could have ever imagined. Once again, the strange, lingering melody could be heard through the black fog of Morpheus, haunting Kratos. The temple on which Kratos stood was the Sun Chariot of Helios. The very chariot that the fire steeds pulled across the sky every day, allowing the brilliance of Helios to shine down on all mankind. Kratos. Athena, what madness has befallen us? Kratos, there is not much time. Olympus needs you. I grow tired of the gods' request, Athena. I have given enough. Now take these nightmares from my head. It is not for you to say when your servitude ends. You will earn your freedom in time. But for now, Olympus needs your unquestioning obedience. The God of the Sun has been torn from the sky. This temple on which you stand is the Chariot of Helios. Without their master to reign them, the Fire Steeds have driven the Sun Chariot into the Earth. And without Helios, there is no one to keep Morpheus from seizing permanent power. Many of the gods have fallen into a deep slumber. Soon, all will succumb to the black grip of Morpheus. What would you have me do? You must find Helios, and return him to the sky. Lest the world of gods and man be lost forever. Only his light can release the grasp of Morpheus. Athena! Athena! I am grateful you have come, Ghost of Sparta. The Titan Atlas has been freed from the pits of Tartarus and has taken my brother Helios from his rightful place in the sky. What does Atlas want with the Sun God? Helios holds within him the power of the Sun, a power so great it can destroy the world. It cannot be trusted in the hands of a Titan. Please, take the Sun Shield from his throne. Walk through the gates of Olympus, and you will find me. Hurry, Kratos. Even now, my brother suffers at the hand of Atlas. 
as Kratos stepped out into the eternal night, much had changed outside the temple. Morpheus grew ever stronger as his harbingers of darkness continued their relentless march. entered the cave, Eos, goddess of dawn and sister to Helios, sat above him, visibly weakened by the absence of the sun. All glory be to Lord Zeus for granting you safe passage to me. The king of the gods does not aid me, Eos. I am but a slave to Zeus and Olympus. Save my brother, Kratos, and he will convince Zeus to release you and rid you of the horrors of your past. I give you my word. The gods have broken their word to me many times. Forgive me if I find it hard to believe your promises. Be that as it may, Kratos. The primordial fire is almost out. Without Helios, the life-giving light of the world cannot be sustained. If you do not find him, only darkness and death awaits all of us. Where has Atlas taken him? I do not know, Kratos. Follow the passage out of the cave. Retrieve the fire and it will light your path to the remaining steeds. They will guide you to their master. They will take you to my brother. May you go with the speed of Hermes, Ghost of Sparta. And again, the melody returns. And it almost seemed familiar. As Kratos left the temple, he was assaulted by the army of Morpheus, and again, he heard the haunting melody. But this time, he recognized it as the song of his daughter, Calliope. Calliope? My daughter, where are you? Calliope! With the release of the fire steeds, Kratos was now in the hands of the beasts. And where they would take him, he did not know.
As the steeds pulled Kratos away from the grip of Morpheus, they crossed into the underworld. But in the land of the dead, they could go no further, for these beings of light were not welcome in Hades. Kratos found himself on the very edge of Hades, the land where no mortal had set foot. Here, where the souls of the dead walk their fated path, Kratos knew that for him, this was merely the beginning. Here, where the souls of the wicked are tortured in the pits of Tartarus, the wailing and the agony of the damned resonated deep throughout the bowels of the underworld. Kratos saw before him the remnants of the old rulers of Earth, the mighty Titans. Defeated by the gods and enchained in the depths of Tartarus, they suffered their unjust penance. And for their torment, it was well known that these immortal beings hated the Olympians with immeasurable fury. By the hands of Zeus, the Titans had been bound and shackled in their torment for a thousand years, with no hope of escape. Now the chains that once held the Titan Atlas lay broken, and only one question plagued the thoughts of Kratos. Who will release such evil? and they would not hold me either. The gods have obviously taken pity on their slaves. You underestimate me, Charon. This time I will not be so merciful.
Having defeated Charon, Kratos journeyed deeper into Hades and closer to his goal. For in the distance, the bright light of Helios illuminated all of the underworld. But something on the shore caught his attention. And to Kratos, it almost seemed an apparition. Calliope! Upon seeing his daughter, Kratos realized that all that he had been working for, all that he had wanted, was within reach. Years of service to the gods had not delivered him from his pain. Never had it eased the burden of his past. And now, Calliope was found. Calliope! Kratos looked, but his daughter was nowhere to be seen. In the middle of the room sat a graceful figure, a figure he recognized all too well. Persephone, wife of Hades, and queen of the undead. Where is my daughter, witch? Choose your words carefully, ghost of Sparta. You address the goddess of the underworld. Your daughter is well. She lives among the pure souls in the Elysian fields. Lead me to her! Have you forgotten, Kratos? The Olympians need you. They slumber at the hand of Morpheus. I have faithfully served the gods, yet they do not give me what I ask. I grow weary of their demands. The gods on Olympus failed me too, Kratos. I was betrayed by Zeus and tricked by my husband, Hades. Now I am to stay in the underworld as queen of the dead, to serve the fallen and care for them as my own children. Persephone! I demand to see my daughter! As you wish. If Calliope is your true desire, I can help you. But be warned, Ghost of Sparta. The world of man will suffer because of your choice. I care little for the world and its suffering! Where is she?! If you are to see your daughter again, you must become worthy of Elysium. Cast your weapons at the Forsaken Tree, and let it release the evils of your past. Only then will you be free of your sins, and be granted passage through the Divine Gates. through the portal and find the one you see. over you pathetic mortals for a thousand years, and it is always the same. Serving yourself before the needs of others has always been your flaw. 
but no matter. For now you serve my purpose. It is time for all that came before to end. The Titan will fulfill his role and finish what I have started. I released Atlas. You? As you were pathetically disarming yourself, Atlas completed the task I set him out to do. With the power of the sun in his hands, it is only a matter of time before he destroys the pillar that holds the world. And Olympus with it. But why? Do you think it was my choice to wed a man I did not love? Live a life I did not choose? I was betrayed by the very gods that once saw me as their own, but no more. Once the pillar is destroyed, the world will revert into chaos. And what is to become of you? I will have my peace and be free from this miserable existence. I will perish, but it is my choice. Father, what's happening? I'm scared. In your selfish choice to be with your daughter, you have caused her ruin. No. Elysium falls too, Kratos. She will perish. No! I will not let the gods take her from me again! Father! The choice was clear to him, yet impossible to make. To stay with his daughter meant the end of the world and the end of her. To stop Persephone and Atlas would mean forsaking his daughter forever. While his hatred and anger for the gods grew ever stronger, he knew there was but one thing to do. Kratos soon realized that what he gained in humanity, he lost in power. He would need to become the monster he once was if he needs to defeat Persephone. Spartan, witness the end! this world behind. Atlas!
will help you. But I ask, where are your gods now, Kratos? Why do they not come to your aid? I do not need the aid of the gods! But my path is now clear to me. I will serve them! And they will keep their promise to free me from my past! I ask you, Spartan. What good is the promise of an Olympian? It is all I have, Atlas! We will meet again, Spartan. The fates have deemed it. One day, you will regret what you have done here. The mighty Atlas was left in chain, cursed to forever hold the world on his shoulders. Greater penance than even Zeus himself had placed on the Titans. The fate of Atlas had been sealed, and the goddess Persephone was no more. Kratos had saved mankind, but that mattered little to him. By forsaking his daughter, he had abandoned the only person he ever cared for. What he had long sought and finally found was now forever lost. As the sun chariot rose higher in the sky, and the might of Helios shone once again on the world, Morpheus retreated to the shadows. Kratos gained little satisfaction from his victory. With years of servitude in front of him, he would need to confront his past and fight to reclaim the humanity he lost on the day his dark legend was born. The dire toll of his relentless battles finally caught up with him as Kratos fell from the chariot to the earth. Was this sacrifice too much for one to bear, even for the man who was known as the Ghost of Sparta? He has again served us well, Athena. He is a remarkable mortal. He is weak. Shall we help him? He'll live. They must. of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. But it had not always been this way. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. It's you! 
The visions, they were real! The gods came to me, told me their champion would come and rescue us from the Hydra. But you're too late! We're pinned down! These creatures, they came from nowhere. The ships are all destroyed. All hope is lost, Spartan. Even for you... Lord Poseidon, Kratos, before you reach Athens, there is a task you must complete. This beast, this Hydra, it has terrorized my seas for far too long. Your skills are admirable, but you will need assistance. You will need the power of the gods. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. Go with the gods, Kratos. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Get them away from the ship! Why won't they die? It's the giant one! He keeps healing the others! Ah! No way! God! We'll never get out of here! Doom! We're doomed! We're all... Slaughtered like animals, the victims lay before him, a reminder of his own past, a past he could never escape. <laughs> his only solace was the sea, endlessly sailing from one harbor to the next in service to the gods of Olympus. All his hopes rested with them. For no matter how much wine he consumed or how many women he took to his bed, nothing on earth could rid him of the horrors that plagued his mind. <laughs> Athena! Ten years, Athena. I have faithfully served the gods for ten years. When will you relieve me of these nightmares? We request one final task of you, Kratos. Your greatest challenge awaits in Athens, where even now my brother Ares lays siege as we speak. Athens is on the verge of destruction. It is the will of Ares, my great city fall. Zeus has forbidden the gods from waging war on each other. That is why it must be you, Kratos. Only a mortal trained by a god has a chance at defeating Ares. And if I am able to do this, to kill a god, then the visions, they will end? Complete this final task, and the past that consumes you will be forgiven. Have faith, Kratos. The gods do not forget those who come to their aid. Leaving the rotting carcass of the Hydra behind, 
Kratos set sail once more. His greatest challenge and freedom from his growing madness lay before him in the ancient city of Athens. Without help, the city will fall! The gate's destroyed! You'll have to find another one! Aphrodite. Kratos, the gods are pleased with your progress. But your current skills will not be enough to defeat the minions of Ares. I offer you the power to freeze your enemies where they stand. But you must earn such a gift. Medusa, the queen of the Gorgons. Bring me her head, Kratos, and I will give you the ability to wield its power. Go with the gods, Kratos. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Not fear, Kratos. I am the Oracle of Athens, here to help you defeat Ares. Find my temple to the east, and I will show you how to murder a god. Get across these monsters, <laughs> they'll, they'll tear me apart. Coward, Lord Zeus, Kratos, you grow stronger as your journey continues. But if you are to succeed in your quest, you will need my aid. I offer you the power of the greatest of all the gods, the father of Olympus. I offer you the power of Zeus. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. 
You have done well, Kratos. Go with the gods. Go forth in the name of Olympus. has chosen wisely. I knew it was so. Who are you? So, you have the blades, the skin as pale as the moon. You are the one indeed. Perhaps Athens will survive at that. <laughs> but be careful. Don't want you dying before I'm done with this grave. A grave? In the middle of a battle? Who will occupy it, old man? You will, my son. Oh, I've got a lot of digging to do indeed. All will be revealed in good time. And when all appears to be lost, Kratos, I will be there to help. And with that act, Kratos set in motion the events that would lead to his downfall. Kratos, as Athena herself has foretold. But you are late, perhaps too late to save Athens. Or is it Athens you have come to save? No, I, I can't! We must not stop! And when the Oracle Go looked into his soul, she saw a beast as well as a man. Once a captain in the Spartan army, Kratos had begun his command with only 50 soldiers. But soon his numbers grew to the thousands. His tactics were brutal, but effective. Drunk with power, he was feared by all, except one. His wife was the only one to brave his fury. How much is enough, Kratos? When will it end? When the glory of Sparta is known throughout the world. The glory of Sparta. You did this for yourself. His desire for conquest knew no bounds. But that which he desired would ultimately consume him. By the gods, why would Athena send one such as you? Stay out of my head! Choose your enemies wisely, Kratos. Your brute strength alone will not be enough to destroy Ares. Only one item in the world will allow you to defeat a god. Pandora's box. 
which lies far beyond the walls of Athens, hidden by the gods across the desert to the east. But be warned, Kratos. Many have gone in search of Pandora's box. None have returned. Kratos, the journey forward is perilous, but one you must complete if you are to have any hope of saving Athens. The Oracle spoke of Pandora's box. Can it be real? The box exists. It is the most powerful weapon a mortal can wield. And with such a weapon, I could defeat Ares. With the box, many things become possible, and so it is hidden well far across the desert of lost souls. There is safe passage through the deadly sands, but only those who hear and follow the Siren's song will discover it. You must find the Sirens, Kratos. Only they can guide you to Kronos, the Titan. A Titan lives? Kronos is the last. Zeus has commanded him to wander the desert endlessly, the Temple of Pandora chained to his back until the swirling sands rip the very flesh from his bones. Stay true to the song of the Siren Kratos. Your journey begins here. Pray it leads you back to Athens with Pandora's box. Kronos, the last of the mighty titans, emerged from the desert sands. On his back, Pandora's temple awaited, massive and patient, ready to challenge all who went in search of its guarded treasure. For three days, Kratos climbed the sheer walls of the mountain. He knew he would either recover Pandora's box or perish inside the cursed temple, never to return to the world of man. think you can conquer the Temple of the Gods, do you? It's never been done, you know. Sooner or later, the Harpies will bring what's left of you back for me to burn. 
The gods hid Pandora's box in here, so no mortal would ever claim its power. And yet, year after year, I open the gate for more and more soldiers and place more and more bodies on these pyres. If I were you, I'd leave now. But I can see you are determined. Very well. May the gods grant you strength to conquer the perils that lay before you. Good luck, Spartan. Kratos, the gods demand more of you. You have learned to use the Blades of Chaos well, but they alone will not carry you to the end of your task. I offer you the very blade I used to slay a titan. Take this gift and use it to complete your quest. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. The wrecked bodies of those who had gone in search of Pandora's box lay before him, and at once Kratos knew who was responsible. For this was not the first time he'd seen the ruined Ares and his minions had left in their wake. Kratos had experienced it firsthand years before. The youngest and boldest captain in the Spartan army, Kratos inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle until this day. The barbarians to the east numbered in the thousands and descended on the Spartans without mercy. The battle lasted near hours. The discipline and training of the Spartans did little to stem the tide of the merciless barbarians. The soldiers faced a massacre, while their young captain faced the end of his brilliant career and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours. That desperate call for aid would come to haunt Kratos for all his days. By the gods, what have I become?
toward Hades. Your progress is impressive, Kratos. But your skills will not carry you to your ultimate goal. I offer you the souls of Hades itself. The souls of the dead who stand ready to fight by your side. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. Kratos had been in service to the gods long enough to know the Harpy had been sent as a warning, a reminder from his former master of the decision that had cost Kratos everything. Had it been that long since he'd almost met his end at the hands of the barbarians? That long since he'd traded everything to save himself? Ares! The sky split apart and the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god, destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. As for Kratos, no mere sword and shield would befit the newest servant of the God of War. The Blades of Chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. Wretched beast! I know who it is you serve! Return to your master! Tell the god of war I am his no longer. Tell him he is not safe while I walk the earth. I will find Pandora's box. And I will use it to see him tremble and fall before me. The path before Kratos was clear, but still, the memories came rushing back, as familiar and permanent as the blades chained to his wrists. Memories of what he'd done in the name of Ares. Memories of how he'd become a servant to the god of war. A beast, his humanity robbed, 
and replaced only with the will to murder. No one was safe. Entire armies fell before Kratos and the soldiers who followed him on his unending path of conquest, all in the name of his master. Those who offered resistance of any kind were dealt with quickly. They've built this temple to offer prayers to Athena! This entire village stands as an affront to Lord Ares! Burn this village! Burn it to the ground! Emboldened by the god of war, Kratos' army was ruthless, feared throughout the world for their brutality. All that mattered was conquest in the name of Kratos, their great leader, who had become near invincible. He feared nothing. But there was something about this temple, something forbidden. All his instincts told him he should never cross its threshold. Never step inside. Beware, Kratos. The dangers in the temple are greater than you know. But the village oracle's warning fell on deaf ears. His ambition would not be denied. All who opposed him would die. In that instant, the glory he had reveled in turned to horror. The image of his two final victims would stay with him for all his days. With that act, Kratos knew he could no longer serve his master. He had but one calling now, the death of Ares. He would murder the god of war. Ares. You will die for what you did that night. Your quest is at an end. You are the first mortal to ever reach Pandora's box. There is still time to save Athens. You must bring the box back to my city and use it to kill Ares. Return to Athens, Kratos. Return and save my city.
You must bring Pandora's box back to Athens, Kratos. You cannot defeat Ares without it. After a thousand years, Pandora's box was at last freed of its confines. Kratos had found the means to destroy the God of War. Far away in Athens, Ares knew Kratos had succeeded in his quest. So, little Spartan, you've recovered Zeus's precious box. But you will not live long enough to see it opened. I will see to that. Goodbye, Spartan. You will rot in the depths of Hades for all eternity. As the life began to leave Kratos, his thoughts returned to that fateful night. Even in death. The memories, the visions would not fade. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? A cruel trick orchestrated by the God of War. My wife, my child, how they were left in Sparta. You are becoming all I'd hoped you'd be, Kratos. Now, with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. You'll become even stronger. You will become death itself. But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin, never to be removed. And with that curse, all would know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. In the end, in death, he had failed. As the minions of Ares claimed Pandora's box, Kratos' life faded, and his cursed soul was cast into the fires of Hades. And Kratos fell into the underworld, the river Styx beckoning below, the currents strong enough to carry even the strongest mortal to his eternal resting place. But Kratos had no intention of resting yet. He intended to live, to return to Earth and complete his quest. Let go, fool! You won't drag me down to that cursed river! There is a task left for me above. I will see it completed. You again? Kratos, and not a moment too soon. I only finished digging just a moment ago. Who are you? Now that is an interesting question. But for now, you must hurry. Athens needs you. But how did you know I was- Athena isn't the only god keeping watch on you, Spartan. Complete your task, Kratos, and the gods will forgive your sins. Kratos had traversed the desert of lost souls, bested the deadly traps of Pandora's temple, and escaped Hades itself. There was but one task left. Zeus! Do you see now what your son can do? You cast your favor on Athena, 
But her city lies in ruins before me. And now, even Pandora's box is mine. Would you have me use it against Olympus itself? Kratos, returned even from the Underworld. Is this the best you can do, father? You send a broken mortal to defeat me, the god of war? After thousands of years, Pandora's box was finally open. The power of the gods unleashed. Still just a mortal. Every bit as weak as the day you begged me to save your life. I am not the same man you found that day. The monster you've created has returned to kill you. You have no idea what a true monster is, Kratos. of your greatest failure. Perhaps there is a chance you can undo the deeds of the past. The nightmares that had haunted Kratos for the past ten years had now taken form and substance. His past stood before him. Them again. You cannot save them, Kratos. You gave them up in your quest for ultimate power. There is a price to pay for everything you gain. Not that price. I didn't want them to die. No price is too high for what I offered. And you rejected me. A god! Now, you will have no power. No magic! All that is left for you is death! Oh, not... not again. You should have joined me, Kratos! You should have been stronger! By the gods. The battle was not over. The gods, it seemed, had a final gift for Kratos. I still have allies in Olympus, Ares. Now, you will see how strong I am. <clears throat> Remember, Kratos. It was I who saved you in your time of greatest need. I haven't forgotten, Ares. I remember how you saved me. That night... I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded.
Kratos had done the impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. The city had been saved, and would thrive again. The same could not be said for Kratos, for as he sought to rebuild his soul with the help of the gods, the truth was revealed to him. Athena, rid me of the memories that haunt me still. You have done well, Kratos. Though we mourn the death of our brother, the gods are indebted to you. We promised your sins would be forgiven, and so they are. But we never promised to take away your nightmares. No man, no god could ever forget the terrible deeds you have done. In the end, knowing the visions of his past would never leave him, Kratos made his way to the bluffs overlooking the Aegean Sea. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. The fate of Kratos was not as it seemed. The gods had other plans. Born aloft like a feather, Kratos found himself risen from the sea and placed on solid earth. You will not die this day, Kratos. The gods cannot allow one who has performed such service to perish by his own hand. Ares' tactics were brutal. His path of destruction had to be stopped. But now there is an empty throne in Olympus, and a new god of war is needed. Take these stairs, Kratos. They lead to your ultimate reward. From that point forward, throughout the rest of time, whenever men rode forth to battle for good cause or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven forward by Kratos, the mortal who had become the new god of war. Kratos. The ghost of Sparta had taken his place amongst the Olympians as the god of war. The bloodshed, the relentless battles, had finally brought him here. Ares was dead, and though Olympus beckoned, visions of his mortal existence still haunted him. <laughs> Kratos knew that this was not a mere vision, for with the gods, nothing was ever as it seemed. The vision of his past set Kratos in search of answers, answers that lay in the temple of Poseidon, deep within the city of Atlantis. This is not a wise course of action, Kratos. It was a dream, nothing more. The visions still haunt me, Athena. The visions you promised to take away. 
But this vision, I can change. Perhaps it is a vision best left unchanged. There is more to this than you know. Please. of Thanatos, the god of death, a vestige of a long forgotten time. Erected before the rule of the Olympians, this temple was not placed here by mortal hands. Within its walls, there are passage to the domain of death. In the distance stood the Temple of Poseidon, a monument erected by the Atlanteans to the greatness of their protector, the god of the seas. Know thyself, and no path shall be revealed. How oh, I have missed you, Kratos. What treachery is this? Another trick of the gods? No, my son. It is me. Your father brought me here. I have waited so long. My father? <coughs> we do not have much time. 
Kratos. Your brother does not have much time. Demos. He lives trapped in torment, deep in death's domain. But he's gone. You told me that he was- I'm sorry. I had no choice but to lie. You must listen now. The Temple of Ares in Sparta holds the secret that will lead to your brother. The road will not be easy, but you must help him. You must, Kratos. <coughs> he needs you. This cannot be. Why? Why would you do this? Your father forbid me to tell My you. father? Who is my father? Her last breath, she released the weight of her burden and finally found the peace she had long sought. But for Kratos, the rage was almost palpable. Fate had once again pushed him to the brink of madness. Salvation, ghost of Sparta. I have not come here for you or your kind. Do not be so naive, Kratos. Your path led you to me. You need my help. I need nothing from you, Thera. If you do not free me, then you will share my fate. You will die here with me. Free me. Free me and my power will be yours. Without it, we will both remain prisoners of our torments.
battle with Scylla had shaken the very foundation of Poseidon's kingdom. Atlantis was sinking. But that mattered little to the ghost of Sparta. Athena! You lied to me! The gods lied to me! My brother lives. He lives! Athena! Don't let your rage blind you, Kratos. There is much you do not know. Be warned. They will all try to stop you. Hold fast, Dominus. We've won the battle. Hold fast. <coughs> <coughs> What happened here? We have angered them. The gods. They sent a message to all who defy their glory. But we... We survived. Spared us. She... she who spared you? The daughter. A message to the ghost of Sparta. <coughs> The labor begins. <coughs> Death awaits the ghost. <coughs> he will never get the skull. The skull. Fool of all, Kratos. The ghost of Sparta. The slayer of Ares. And now, the destroyer of Atlantis. You should take heed, Spartan. The destruction of Poseidon's kingdom will not bode well on Olympus. I care little for the gods. And yet you walk beside them. I did not ask for the throne of Ares. You were given the honor to walk among the gods, and yet you spit on it like it was dirt. The gods can keep their honor. I wish only to find my brother. Ah, yes, the other one. <laughs> Try if you must, but you will not succeed. You will never find him. And in the wake of your destruction, you have sunk the only path to your salvation. This is all that awaits you at the end of your journey. Not before I find Demos. Be wise, my son, and turn back now. Do not seek the domain of death. <laughs> Where are you? 
have not failed you. I told the servants of death nothing. Elysium. Elysium. You are a Spartan. Even in death, you stand tall for battle. Thank you, Lord Kratos. Erinus, the daughter of Thanatos, the god of death. Pain given form, evil given life. Ghost of Sparta, the god slays. Your brother belongs to Thanatos. So, so. You cannot stop me! Nothing can!
from your back! Is that all you have? Is that all you have? A Spartan warrior! No, brother! You are weak! stands tall for battle. You are a Spartan, are you not? Yes, Kratos. After the great war with the Titans, the Oracle had foretold the demise of the Olympian gods and the destruction of Olympus. She saw that it would be brought about not by the hands of the Titans, who thirsted for revenge, but by the hands of a mortal, a marked warrior. Whoever controlled the marked warrior controlled the fate of Olympus. Ikari! Paternal lessons spark of Thera Ivan Kali. Sit you. Aim for an Forgive me. my lord. Make quick work of this and erect a statue befitting of your glory. That's right, man! Now pull! All hail Lord Kratos, the god of war! All hail Lord Kratos! 
My lord, I have something for you. I shall return. Face thyself, and your fate shall be seen. Kratos stood in the Temple of Ares. It was a somber reminder of who and what he had become. The ghost of Sparta. The god slayer. And now the very person he had once despised. The god of war. Kratos knew he had to return to Atlantis, back to the sunken city. Only there would he find the entrance to Death's domain, and the brother he left behind. Your weapons, my lord. I have looked after them as if they were my own. You have served. Thank you, my lord. Be warned, Ghost of Sparta. Do not pursue this path. The gods forbid it. The gods have no power over me, Thanatos. Where is my brother? 
<laughs> if you persist, that from the fates will prevent me from ending your power. Ares was unwise to believe you could serve him. Do not stand in my way, Thanatos. Or Ares' blood is not the only I will shed. <laughs> Kratos knew that deep within the raging abyss lay the answer to a question he was not yet prepared to ask. Was Deimos still alive? Created my kingdom! I shall not forget this, ghost of Sparta! You will answer for this affront! It is not too late to turn back, Kratos. No good will come of this journey. The gods... I am done with the gods! Return to Olympus and leave me be. Your brother was a threat to Olympus, Kratos. What was done, had to be done. Forgive me. Forgive me. Why? Why did you help him? 
I was there for you, Kratos. You had to be saved. You should have saved him. I should have saved him. There is more to this than you could possibly know, Kratos. Lies and riddles. That's all you give me, Anita. I will save my brother. And you will stay out of my way. dark netherworld, nestled between the land of the living and the realm of the dead. A purgatory, ruled by the god of death, Thanatos. The doors to the domain of death, a place neither mortal nor god had dared enter. Worshipped long before the Olympians, Thanatos, the god of death, dwelled within. Demons. Spartan! 
Ragnarok never lets his back hit the ground. Right, brother? I will not lose you again, Demos. Come! The fight is not over!
化腐烂。It is done. You have let go of that which made you mortal. Your ties to this world are severed. You are ready to be a god. Is this all a game to you, Athena? It is not over, Athena. The gods will pay for this. Forgive me. By defeating Ares, Kratos, the once mortal warrior, became the new god of war. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta. They knew solace from his past and calling to battle. My lord, Kratos! Another city is ready to fall! Soon all shall know the glory of Sparta! Enough, Kratos! With every city you destroy, the wrath of Olympus grows. Soon I will no longer be able to protect you. I need no protection. Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, Ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. Then you leave me no choice. 
Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred. Hatred for the gods who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past deeds. And so he went to Rhodes to deliver the final blow to the besieged city. I can take down this beast! I offer you more than help, Kratos. I offer you power. I offer you the Blade of Olympus. It was this blade that ended the Great War and defeated the Titans. Drain your godly powers into the sword, Kratos. Only then will you reach your full potential. Why do you aid me now? What I do now, I do for the good of all Olympus. Do you see, gods of Olympus? Do you need more proof than this? Placing all of his godly power into the weapon had rendered Kratos mortal, vulnerable to the arms of death. Bloodied and beaten, he knew that to have any hope of survival, he must retrieve the Blade of Olympus. 
Humiliated before his Spartan army, Kratos dragged himself up from the dirt. Attend to this matter myself. Athena refused to undo her mistake. Imagine caring for a creature such as yourself. Why? Why would you betray me? It is you who would betray me. Am I to stand idly by while Olympus is threatened? Your hands are already stained by the blood of a god. I will not let Ares fate be my own. The gods are petty and pathetic, and your rule is weak. I grow tired of this insolence. I am the king of Olympus. And it is my way that is the way of the gods. You must vow to forever serve me. I serve no one. Then you'll leave me no choice. God struggle! <laughs> Submit! I would rather die! It did not have to be this way, my son. This path is of your choosing. A choice from the gods is as useless as the gods themselves. Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me! Everything you have ever known, Kratos, will now suffer because of your sacrilege. You will never be the ruler of Olympus. The cycle ends here. As the life drained out of Kratos, the arms of Hades reached out to claim their prize. But there was more resting on Kratos' shoulders than he could know. Kratos was destined to bring about change so severe that it would shake the very pillars of Mount Olympus. His death was something that I could not allow. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours!
die here. This is not the end. Who are you? I am the Titan Gaia, ever-present mother of Earth. I have watched you become a powerful warrior, and I have been with you through all the events of your life. But I can no longer simply watch. We will help you defeat Zeus. Death is an escape, Kratos. You are a warrior of Sparta, not a coward. Only a coward accepts death. I am no coward. Then you must fight. I will show you the way to the Sisters of Fate. Only with their power will you defeat Zeus. My lord, I knew you could not be killed. I never lost faith. Return to Sparta and prepare for battle. But our brothers are dead. You can still hold the sword. Spartans do not surrender. Do as your god commands. And what of you, my lord? I am going after Zeus. It seems I still have a reason for this. to find the Sisters of Fate and travel back through time to the moment Zeus betrayed you, for only then will he truly be vulnerable. Kratos, to succeed, you will need more help than I can give. you in this torment. Zeus, my only crime was helping mankind. When I took the fires of Olympus to the mortals, Zeus considered it a betrayal. As punishment, he made me mortal and condemned me to be savagely consumed every day by this Cursed bird! And then, with the fall of night, I am healed. How long have I been here? 
How long have I suffered this curse? I truly do not know. of Sparta, release me from my torment! from the torment of the gods. His flesh has tainted the fires of Olympus and embodied it with the power of the Titans. These ashes will give you great strength, Kratos. Take them within you and use this strength to defeat your enemies. creation, home to the sisters of fate. Here, the path to your true destiny begins. The island is fraught with danger. It was created to prevent all from reaching the three sisters of fate. The power of the sisters will allow you to return to that moment when Zeus betrayed and killed you, Kratos, thus changing your fate and the fate of others. Find a way across to the island, Kratos. For there lies your path to the Sisters of Fate. Why do you aid me, Gaia? Zeus must be stopped, Kratos. The story of revenge has been told before. You know of the mighty Titan, Kronos. So fearful was Kronos of the Oracle's prediction that his own children would rise against him, that he decided to imprison them all in his belly. Rhea stood by and watched as her children were devoured one by one. But when the time came for the last of her children to be eaten, she was unable to bear another such loss and devised a trick to save the baby Zeus. Rhea commanded the eagle to secret her son away. He was taken to an island far beyond the watchful eyes of Kronos.
it was I who cared for him. It was I who kept him safe. I nurtured his desire to free his brothers and sisters from Kronos. But my foolish act of compassion would haunt the Titans forever. For in sparing Zeus, we allowed him to return to us with vengeance in his heart. He betrayed all of the Titans for the sins of just one. The sins of his father, Kronos. of Sparta, then what they say is true. Theseus, of all the fools who try, you would be the last I would expect to seek an audience with the Sisters of Fate. And you are the last one I would expect to become a servant of the Fates. I serve and protect the Sisters of Fate for the glory of Zeus. The time of Zeus is coming to an end. Hmm. You seek the sisters to kill Zeus. <laughs> you no longer possess the powers of a god, Kratos. I doubt you're capable of killing me, <laughs> let alone the king of Olympus. Let me pass, and I will let you live, old man. I do not think that is your choice to make. Come forward. Let us finally see who is the greatest warrior in all of Greece. Age of the Titans drop. of my magic. For the good of the Titans, I, Kronos, now bestow what is left upon you. Use it well.
Hear me, fallen god. None defy what the fates decree. That is how it must be. Only death awaits you at the end of your journey. My death is what began this journey. The fates have not deemed victory for you. Your soul will never find peace for what you have become. I am what the gods have made me! Hidden deep within the spire lie the sisters. They control the threads of fate. Gain control of your thread, and you will be able to return to the moment when Zeus betrayed you. Let the rage of the Titans fuel your blades, Kratom. You, warrior, help me! Help me! Took him. All 
all our men are dead. Jason has the fleece. You must save him. The fleece is the key to Medusa's temple. was my only escape. I have faced test after test in search of the sisters. And now you have dashed it all away. You certainly do not live up to your reputation, ghost of Sparta. But perhaps this is a test. Are you watching me now, sisters? Give me a sign! Am I, the great Perseus, to kill this fallen god to receive an audience with you? Will that allow me to bring my love back from the grasp of Hades himself? If not, at least I can bathe in the glory of being the one who brought down the mighty Kratos, the slayer of gods. Although I hardly think a harpy's fool such as yourself deserves such praise. It is my test! Do you not know who I am? Have you not heard of Icarus? It is my fate to make it across! This is my test! The sisters will grant me an audience, not you. You will die, White Warrior! You will die! I will reach the sisters of fate, and I will use your wings to do so. The sisters will not allow you, a fallen god, to bathe in their light!
must have sent you to help me. I realize now. The Sisters Temple is far above Kratos. You must get back to the surface. Who breaks my chains of torment? You are strong, but you are far too small, even for an Olympian, to be a god. You dare show your face to me after what you have done? I will make you suffer, Kratos. Why would I ever trust a servant? <laughs> Kratos, still the arrogant and foolish warrior. You have not changed. Hmm. And how do you plan to defeat the king of the gods? By taking the blade of Olympus back and driving it into Zeus's heart. It holds the power I once wielded as the god of war. The blade of Olympus? I have not heard that name in many years. Since... since the end of the Great War, bloodlust and power raged within Zeus. His desire to rule over mortals was intolerable to us. The war between the Titans and the Olympians forged the landscape of the mortal world. It was a war that we knew the Titans must win. If we lost, it would mean an end to the golden age of the Titan rule. Peace and prosperity for mankind would be no more. continued despite my capture. Then Zeus created a powerful weapon to end the Great War. A weapon forged from the heavens and the earth. The Blade of Olympus. 
I banish you to the darkest pits of Tartarus! Torment of the Underworld, banished to the darkest pits of Hades. I would have destroyed Zeus if you had not put me here, slave of the gods. I no longer do the bidding of the gods, Atlas. I have stomached their betrayal for the last time. Show me the way to the sisters, and I will kill Zeus once and for all. What Gaia says is true, Ghost of Sparta. You are a powerful warrior and a worthy ally of the Titan. Then tell me how to find the Temple of the Sisters of Fate! None, not even the Titan, know how to reach the Sisters' Temple. But it is said he who finds it will wield great power. I have given you the last of my magic, Spartan, and I will help you across the Great Chasm. But that is all I can offer. me sisters who control the threads keep going another searches for what only the sisters may give read it as proof that he is worthy no please no i cannot do it Read! Accept this sacrifice of my blood. With this sacrifice, you have proven your resolve to seek out the Sisters of Fate. However, this is but a small step in your quest to gain an audience with us. Kratos, you know not what you do. There are things far more important than your revenge. Read the words! Hear me, noble sisters who forge our destinies. Another seeks an audience to change their fate. Read! As proof that he is worthy, 
No, Kratos! This will be the end of us all! You must stop! This is your purpose! Die with honor! I give my blood to illuminate the way. Kratos, like the fiery phoenix who is resurrected from his ashes, you too search for a second chance at life. Find these ashes and free the phoenix. Only then will you find the path to the Temple of the Face. I have come too far to fail! Protected. Sparta is no more. What treachery is this? Zeus. He came under the cloak of darkness into Sparta. begged for their god to save them, but you did not come.
No choice. I had to seek out the sisters to change the fate of our beloved Sparta. For I am all that is left. <coughs> You are all that is left. I have faith that our brothers of Sparta will live on through the true god of war. <coughs> Zeus! Is this how you face me, coward? I am through doing the bidding of the gods! Come down here and face me now, Zeus! I grow tired of the lies of the gods! Go on. There is much at stake here. I cannot defeat the gods. Victory favors you, Kratos. But you must grab hold of your destiny and command it. There is a war on the horizon, and we need you to lead us into battle. To what end? The death of Zeus. If you relent, Zeus will torment you still. He will not rest knowing you live. And when you die, his brother Hades will see that your soul is tortured for all eternity. You will have no rest until you destroy him. Take within you this fire that burned your beloved Sparta. Let it fuel your rage and hasten your steps towards destiny. The time to act is upon us, Kratos. This battle is just the beginning of a great war that is to come. of the Titans fuel your blades, Kratos. Kratos. We sisters determine the fate of all. It was I who deemed that the Titans lose the Great War, 
and I who have allowed you to come this far. It is not your destiny to kill Zeus. You no longer control my destiny. I see Gaia has filled you with her lies. I have warned you. Let me pass. <laughs> you have always amused us, Kratos. But know this, mortal. There is no power greater than the Sisters of Fate. If you challenge us, you will die. Defy fate, Kratos! For we have woven the events of your life. And now, that life is at an end. <laughs> We control your destiny, foolish mortal! With a whim, we can end your life! <laughs> or allow you to live. Search your memory, Kratos. The sword which you stand on delivered your victory against Ares. Without it, you will be the one who dies this day, not Ares. We can change your past and set your future. This is the power of the fates! was never meant for a mortal like you! Plotto weaves the thread of life for every mortal god and time. Find your thread, and you will be able to control the mirrors of the fates, the source of their power, and use them as a gateway to return to the time when Zeus betrayed you. Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me? No matter. <laughs> How can this be? The Sisters of Fate have aided you. Unexpected. The Sisters are dead. Hmm. I underestimated you. A mistake I do not intend to repeat.
told you I would make you pay for what you did! I am through playing with you, Kratos! have already deemed me victorious. No, Kratos! Stop! Athena! No! Why do you sacrifice yourself? To save Olympus. I do not seek to destroy Olympus. Only Zeus. Zeus is Olympus. <laughs> he brought this to himself. Because of fear, Kratos. A fear felt by his father, Kronos. A fear that wrought the Great War. A fear that drove Zeus to kill you. His own son. His son? Just as Zeus was compelled to destroy his father, Kronos. You are compelled to do the same. No son should destroy his own father. No. I have no father. God after God will deny you, Kratos. They will protect Zeus. Zeus must live so that Olympus will prevail. If all on Olympus will deny me my vengeance, then all on Olympus will die. I have lived in the shadow of the gods for long enough. The time of the gods has come to an end. Remember, Kratos, you have the power to control time itself. Expecting you, ghost of Sparta. The gods are far too powerful for us to defeat now. All on Olympus tremble at my name. Zeus is weak, 
Ares and Athena are dead, and I wield the blade. We can win the Great War, but not in this time. Together, we will destroy the petty gods, and we will see Olympus crumble before us. Come with me, Gaia. Return to my time. Victory awaits. We have faced far worse than this one fallen mortal. But we are the gods. We whom the mortals worship. We who rule over this land. We who will not be swept aside by this petulant fool. Brothers, put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite, we will stand together, and I will wipe out this plague. Olympus will prevail. Before the age of the twilight set upon the gods, a legend rose to claim his place among them. And even though Kratos sat on the throne as the new god of war, he was haunted by visions of his family, a family he himself murdered. But the hands of death could not defeat him. The sisters of fate could not control him. And on this day, the man, the legend, Kratos will have his revenge.
My vengeance ends now. My brothers, we were forged in victory. A victory that ended the Great War and brought forth the reign of Mount Olympus. Born from the depths of the underworld, rooted in the river of souls, our mountain emerged out of the chaos as it grew. So too did the might of the Olympians. He created a world of peace, a world of prosperity, a world that lives in the shadow and safety of my mountain. A mountain that has come to be the absolute measure of strength and power. Day. That power is to be tested. The mortal Kratos seeks to destroy all that I have wrought. Brothers, put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite. We will stand together. And I will wipe out this plague. Olympus will prevail! I bring the destruction of Olympus! The Titans will fail again!
Gaia does not hide, Poseidon! Leave the sea and face me! You have disrespected the gods for the last time, Kratos! I will leave nothing of you in my wake! Zeus should have kept you where you belong. No matter how many gods fall, there will always be another to stand against you. They will fall as well. The death of Olympus means the death of us all. Then prepare for your death, Poseidon. What will you do, father? 
You can no longer hide behind the skirts of Athena. Athena is dead because of the rage that consumes you, Kratos. What more will you destroy? The hands of death could not defeat me. The sisters of fate could not hold me. And you will not see the end of this day. I will have my revenge! Petulant child! I will tolerate your insolence no more! of Hades have never held me! Death cannot hold those with purpose, Kratos. Athena? I have missed you, Spartan. I... I don't... My sacrifice to save Zeus has brought me to a higher existence. You still appear to be an Olympian. Appearances can be deceiving, Kratos. So can the children of Olympus. Perhaps. But remember, my death came by your blade. My blade was meant for Zeus. Be quick with your words. As we speak, the war for Olympus rages on, and mankind suffers. Let them suffer. The death of Zeus is all that matters. Zeus will not fall as easily as Ares. To destroy the king of the gods, you must seek the source of the strength, the flame of Olympus. You once sacrificed yourself to save Zeus, and now you seek to destroy him? 
What has brought about this change? I see truths where I did not Perhaps these will earn back your trust. These are the Blades of Exile. They will help guide you on your journey to the flame. Remember, as long as Zeus reigns, there is no hope for mankind. Destroy the flame craters, and the very foundations of Olympus will crumble. enough, Spartan. Hades, he sentenced me to this eternal torture. My prison of tinder. But now that you are here, you can free me. All I have left is my bow. Please, free me. And it is yours. <laughs> <laughs> of Olympus and Order of Zeus. We are the three judges. Face your final judgment, mortal. King Aeacus has found you wanting. King Radamanthus has found you worthy. It falls to me, King Minos, to make the final decision. Your future is cloaked in shadow. The realm of the afterlife is not yet ready for you. Beyond that door waits your destiny. Father? Calliope? Oh. You are not my daughter. No. But I know who you are. You know of me? They said you would come. Play the toys, Kratos. Show yourself, Hades. Another one of your tricks. As usual, Spartan, you are gravely mistaken. Face me, coward! So eager, Kratos. Relax. Soon enough, we will have our time to play. Leave me be! I tell you, I have paid the price. Calm yourself, Smith God. Uh, uh, ghost of Sparta! It is you. Well, well, well. I thought Zeus would have killed you by now. I thought you would have escaped this cavern by now. <laughs> Zeus may have imprisoned me here, but you are the reason I live in torment. I did you no wrong, Hephaestus. I pursue only one Olympian. Well, as long as it's only one Olympian. <laughs> I seek the flame of Olympus. Do you know of it? For what purpose, Spartan? For the purpose I have chosen. Now tell me, do you know of the flame? All true children of Olympus know of it. We've all come to respect its power. But don't be fooled by its enticing glow. Neither God nor man can touch its lethal flame. I only need to find it. <laughs> if you can find your way out of the underworld, I'm sure you can find your way to the flame of Olympus. <laughs> you have been truly helpful, Hephaestus. Kratos? How do you know of me? You're the ghost of Sparta. Everyone knows who you are. Everyone is afraid of you. 
There are reasons for that. I'm not afraid of you. It is good you're not afraid, child. Fear is a heavy burden. I'm not a child, Kratos. It does not matter what you are. My concerns lay elsewhere. Kratos, please. I need you to free me. The quest for freedom is also a heavy burden. I cannot help you. Can it be? Does this mean Lord Hades rules no longer? The god of the underworld is dead. Dead? Ah, Hades deserved to suffer, though I thought his death impossible. Olympians overestimate themselves. <laughs> Interesting. I will keep that in mind, Spartan. Ha ha ha. You need the soul of a god to use the Hyperion Gate, Kratos. And that one has not been used for centuries. I'm sure it's broken, otherwise I would have seen my beautiful... <laughs> uh, you know, Kratos, I wasn't always like this. A monster. I was once the most prized craftsman in all of Olympus. Zeus rewarded me with my marriage to the beautiful Aphrodite. My mother, Hera, bragged of my talent. But the day you killed Ares was the day my world was torn from me. That day, Zeus became the fiend you now know. 
Worst of all, he took my beloved daughter, Pandora. My reason for living. I spend my time here trying to recreate her. I fail again and again. She still lives, Spartan. I can feel it. You. You, Kratos. You can bring her back to me. Your child is not my concern. But surely you can understand. You were once a father, too. Remember your purpose, Kratos. The twilight is upon us. His death is our only hope. Understand this, Athena. Zeus will die. to an end, Gaia. Nothing more. But I must face Zeus. The Titans must take down Olympus. No! This is my war, not yours. Save me from Atlas. And I promise to repay you in full. If you wish to repay me, tell me where I can find the Flame of Olympus. The Flame? You will never defeat Zeus, Spartan. You will forfeit your life in trying. 
Of all the lives you should worry about, Helios, mine is not one of them. Feel the power of the sun! Destroy Zeus. You must step into the flame to receive its power. You lie, Helios! Hephaestus told me the flame kills all who touch it. And you believe him? That freak has fallen from the graces of Olympus! That is exactly why I believe him. My death will not lead you to Zeus. That is where you are wrong. <laughs> Not help you. But you're the only one who can. I know it. I trust you. You shouldn't.
look who it is. Kratos, the ghost of Sparta. The fallen god, the cursed mortal. To catch a fly from the ass of Zeus is not worth my time, Hermes. A coward's words, Kratos. You don't try to catch me because you know you can't. Kratos, where are you off to today? <laughs> kill any family members lately? Oh, that's right. You're off to kill your father, Zeus. <laughs> Won't happen, can't happen. Kratos is on a fool's errand. Again. Never, never learn. Never, never change. Kratos, the fool who killed his own blood. Kratos, the fool among mortals and gods. Forever, ever cursed. Forever, ever doomed. Consumed by vengeance to his last breath. The Spartan lights the way to dusty death. <laughs> Pandora's box. What is the meaning of this? Your eyes do not deceive you, Kratos. It is the same box you opened years ago. The power to kill a god still rests inside. I released those powers when I killed Ares. No. Trapped inside that box, there is a stronger power. It has been missing from the world. It all began when Zeus triumphed over the Titans in the Great War. Zeus understood that the evils born from that battle, if left free, would destroy the world of man and gods. To contain these evils, Zeus commissioned Hephaestus to build a vessel strong enough to hold them. Fear. Greed. Hate. He locked them all away in the box in hopes that they would never again infect his reign. When you opened the box to kill Ares, you drew from the forbidden powers. After witnessing your victory, fear gripped Zeus. But the flame is deadly. How can I recover the box? With its namesake, Kratos. Pandora? She is the key to destroying the flame. The key to our revenge. This will be difficult, Spartan. A simple child will not trouble me, Athena. I hope you are right, Ghost of Sparta. But you lack speed. <laughs> You've been lucky in battle, Spartan, but your luck ends today. Be 
bested by a mortal. I thought Spartans fought with honor, and yet you seek to kill me when I have no way to defend myself? Not fair. But you have your own sense of honor, right, Kratos? And what has that honor brought you? Nothing but nightmares of your failure. Today you may defeat me, but in the end, Kratos, in the end, you'll betray only yourself. <laughs> Another bastard child of Zeus. Just in time for the final act. Hera. You look terrible, dear. Still wanting to kill my husband, I suppose? You know I seek revenge on Zeus. Can't say that I blame you. Since you killed my son Ares. Fear of you consumes him. His fears will not matter. He is dead. I'll drink to that. Hera, I seek the child Pandora. Pandora? That wretched little thing my son Hephaestus created? Well, 
We can't have you do that, my dear. Destroy him. Hello, brother. This is not between us, Hercules. Isn't it? You were always Zeus's favorite. The air on Olympus affects your thinking, brother. Zeus has no favorites. Think about it, brother. While I was stuck cleaning the Augean stables, he chose you to destroy Ares. Not convinced. How about this? While you were being crowned the god of war, I was sent to find an apple. <laughs> they called them labors. Ha! Perhaps he did allow me to kill the Nemean lion, but he made your name known amongst the people. A fierce warrior, a killer made a hero, a man made a god. But this time, brother, this time I will destroy you. Call it my 13th and final labor. Soon I will become the god of war and claim the throne for myself. You aspire to be an Olympian, yet their reign is ended. We'll see about that. where you are. I hear something. He's close. Just tell me how to find you. The labyrinth! Find the labyrinth! Ah! Help! Help, Kratos! Pandora! Pandora, what's happened? Where are you? My son. You trifle with matters you cannot possibly understand. Stay away from this... this... thing. Zeus. Zeus! Aphrodite! I knew you would return to me. Kratos! Tell me, has Aphrodite conquered another god of war? That is a question you should ask your wife. I seek the labyrinth. I thought you sought only the flame. What could you possibly want in 
No! Stay away from her! Stay away from Pandora, Kratos! You are the reason she is in the labyrinth! The reason I live here in hell! I have done you no wrong, Hephaestus. Oh, but you have, Spartan. You opened the box. I did what had to be done. Clearly, you don't understand. The evils of the Great War cannot easily be contained. I forged the box in a power greater than the gods themselves. The flame of Olympus. As the raw metal took shape, I realized the flame was the safest place to protect it. The lock was set. All that was needed was a key, a way to retrieve the box. Created from the very heart of the flame, the key took on a life of its own. Pandora. A child. Neither living nor dead. I grew to love her, Spartan. And she grew to love me as her father. When Zeus came to take the box, I hid Pandora away. I told him that storing the box on the back of Kronos would be the safest place. After all, who could best the Titan? I lied. I did it to save my child. Surely you can understand that. It was your triumph using the box that revealed my deceit. Zeus tortured me until I confessed the truth of my beloved Pandora. He took her away, leaving me alone in my torment. Don't you understand? If you take her to the flame... Understand this, Smith God. I will stop at nothing to destroy Zeus. But if you... You're right, Spartan. If it means the death of Zeus, I'd be happy to help you. Perhaps. Yes, yes, of course. We'll need the Omphala Stone. With it, I'll make you a weapon. I have weapons. Ah, but not like this. This weapon will give you the retribution you so rightly deserve. The stone rests in the pit of Tartarus. Bring it to me and I will help you.
Kratos! You sent me to my death! No, 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 calm yourself, Kratos. I knew you were up to the challenge. I truly needed the Othalo Stone, you'll see. Make it quick, old man. <laughs> A weapon such as this can't be rushed. <clears throat> this will be worth the wait. A fine weapon like no other. As I promised. I told him to kill you. I told him the day you were born to kill you. But he would not have it. My stupid husband took pity. And now look what you have wrought. Look at this. Look at it. They're dying because of you. Everything is dying because of you. The sun is gone. The ocean swallowed the land. Disease infects what remains. I am doing all I can to keep them alive. But you... Your ruthless murdering of the gods has caused all of this! Ah! You think this garden is not protected? Your brute strength may have bested Hercules. But your simple mind will never find a way out. I look forward to watching you die here, as an old man.
You simple mortal. How dare you challenge us? You think you can just walk away? We aren't finished. <laughs> Have you done? What have you done to me? You coward. You destroy all you touch. <laughs> Good luck with that little whore you call Pandora. Next, Dad, next, I will, I will take the gift of warriors. Ice storm. That will give me the power, the, the power to bring my son back to me. Beautiful Icarus! Ah. Good, good. You have the Ice Storm. The Scorpion must be defeated. The Ice Storm! That is the secret of the Labyrinth. To escape it, we must assemble it! Oh, good, good. You, you've already started. I've seen the cubes moving into place. Now, once inside, you must use the gift of Boreas. It is the catalyst that drives the Labyrinth. You're not... but... you're... but you! What have... what have you done with my child? My boy! Where is my boy?! Your son is dead, Daedalus. My boy... 
away. My, my child, no, no, no! I took the gift of Hades, the liquid fire, and the ice storm to create the power of the labyrinth. Create the power! The power to create, the power to destroy. The king of the gods has forsaken me. He said that if I built the labyrinth, I would see the return of my son. He said, he, he said that if I took the liquid fire, oh my boy, oh my child. Pandora! What has he done? He would kill you. He can't. We must leave this place. Come, I can show you the way. <coughs> I'm ready. This way. Thank you, Kratos. Our journey is far from over, Pandora. By its end, you will not be back at me. I know I look it, but I'm not a child, Kratos. I've seen many terrible things. I'm not afraid. I understand what lies ahead. I saw Zeus torture my father. I saw him beaten because of me. I should have helped him, but I was afraid. Hephaestus did what every father should do. Protect his child. No! It's all my fault. I failed him because of fear. Fear is its own kind of darkness. In that darkness, I heard what the gods said about me. They called me a monster. Words mean nothing. Perhaps. But in their words, I heard fear. The fear of an ash-covered warrior. The fear of you. As the fear in the gods rose, mine was replaced by hope. Hope is for the weak, Pandora. Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. This is what hope delivers, child. You should learn that now. The chain, Kratos. My father once told me it maintains the balance of power within Olympus. Break the chain to raise the labyrinth. Wait here.
Pandora! Pandora! Athena? It's all right, Kratos. Remember your purpose, Spartan. Remember why you have come so far. Prepare yourself, Spartan. You know what you must do. I will raise the labyrinth. I will take her where she belongs. It is. I can see it, Kratos. In the darkness, the fires of hope will set us free. Pandora, no! You know why I'm here. You brought me here to do this. I oh. will find another way. No, Kratos. There is no other way. Let me go! No, child! I am not a child! You're hurting me! <sighs> Down, Zeus! Your obsession with this, this thing has become somewhat of a nuisance, my son. Release the girl, Zeus! Don't confuse this object, this construction of Hephaestus with your own flesh and blood. But perhaps you already have, Spartan. Your quest for Pandora. Your pathetic attempt for atonement from the family you slaughtered has caused nothing but havoc on Olympus. Look around at what you have done. I see only what I have come to destroy. Taking pity on you has been my greatest mistake, Kratos. Just as taking pity on this thing will prove to be your greatest mistake. This has nothing to do with her! It has everything to do with her! Put her down! As you wish.
Mother Kratos! Do not let her into the flame! This is what I am meant to do! You know that! Please! Hush! Kratos, you know this is the only way! Don't listen to her, Kratos. For once in your pathetic life, don't fail. Don't fail her like you failed your family. After all you have sacrificed, it ends in another stunning failure! <laughs> to do after I kill you. Face me, father. It is time to win this. Yes, my son. It is time. <laughs> You have left me no choice. Your pawn has failed you, Gaia. Perhaps you should have chosen the other one. Enough! Father and son will die together!
close, Calliope. Mother, I'm scared. Are they coming to get us? Your father will protect us. Burn this village! Burn it to the ground! Daddy? Kratos! <laughs> Sparta. Ares! Kratos! Come. I can show you the way. Hurry! I can help Kratos! See the light. It is changing you. It is time to lay your fears to rest. The light reveals the truth. The power of forgiveness comes from within. To be forgiven, you must find the power to forgive yourself. Kratos, fear drove Zeus to kill his father Kronos. The same fear that brought the great war. A fear that drove Zeus to kill you, his own son. Zeus uses fear to keep you in the dark. Confront your demons and lay them to rest. Good luck with that little hole you call Pandora. 
God's rose, mine was replaced by hope. How well to kill a god. Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. Is what we fight with when all else is lost.
from the bondage of Olympus and cleansed in chaos, mankind is now ready to hear my message. Look around you, Athena. The world stands in ruin. What good is your message? Go if you must. But first, I insist you give me the power from inside the box. The box was empty. That can't be true. I can see it in your eyes. You used my power to kill Zeus. You still have it as we speak. Don't you understand? When Zeus gathered all the evils and placed them in the box, I dreaded what would happen if it was opened again. And so, I summoned the most powerful weapon in the world, and I placed it in the box. I told you, it was empty. Pandora was sacrificed in vain. She died because of my need for vengeance. You must be mistaken. You used my power to kill Zeus. I saw you do it. Unless... Of course. When you open the box, you release the evils to the gods. Infected them. Changed them. Zeus himself fell prey to the dark evils. This is why he became so enraged and obsessed with your death. He was consumed by the evil, fear. I thought the power I placed in the box was never released. All these years I assumed you drew from the evils inside to destroy Ares. But I was wrong. you took from the box is mine. From it, you gained the strength that Zeus could never destroy. A strength great enough to overcome fear. Locked deep inside of you, Kratos, is hope. It has remained buried, trapped by your guilt and the failures of your past. When you killed Zeus, you must have allowed something to awaken it. What was it, Kratos? Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. What was it, Kratos? All I remember is what I have lost. That is why you should give me the power. I understand its true meaning and where it belongs. I trust you to do the right thing, Kratos. You shouldn't. You owe me this, Kratos. I owe you nothing. I made you a god. I sheltered you from the wrath of Olympus. I delivered your revenge on Zeus. It is over, Athena. You would dare strike me down? Again? My vengeance ends now. You can't! Disappoint me, Spartan.
Found some. Get in the boat, boy. Don't want me to tie it to the boat? Something changed. The forest feels different now. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Yes, sir. That was the last. Where do I see my mother? Oh, there do I see my father. Oh, there do they call to me. Oh, 
Oh, there did they call to me. 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 She's ready. Find your way home. You are free. You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh, this way. Father, why are we doing this now? I need to know you can survive the journey. Then we leave for the mountain? Depends on you. Hunt. What did you find? Tracks. Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. More tracks? Yeah. But they're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Oh! Now what? This way, boy. Hup. Oh. Wait, deer tracks. They're fresh. This way. Ah! <laughs> Found it! Slow down, boy. Sorry. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. He broke our bridge. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. Wow. Go. What happened here? There it is! Hold! 
What are you doing? Now his guard is up. Only fire. Only fire. When I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. Find it. My bow! No! You are not ready! Stay back! But mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. I went hunting with mother a bunch of times. She never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time. Okay. Father, look. Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. Steady your aim and breathe in. I can... Exit. I got it! Good. It's... It's still alive. Your knife. No. Finish what you started. <sighs> I can't. Look at me, boy! Boy, look at me. We did it. You are not ready. What? Are you serious? I found the deer. I proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. 
I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. different about the forest and I told you not to speak but why would a fire troll burn mother's garden and since when are drongers so close to the house and what was that frozen thing that attacked us I do not know now be silent we are almost home inside boy Lost control. That thing was trying to kill us. It's not like you don't get anger in a fight. Anger can be a weapon. If you control it, use it. You clearly cannot. When you I haven't been sick in a long time. I'm better now. Fine. Come on then. You want me to hit you? I want you to try. Why are you doing that? Too slow. Try again. Cut it out! Weak. Again. Again! Stop it! Again! <coughs> Your anger. You can get lost in it. The path ahead is difficult. And you, Atreus, are clearly not ready. Quiet. Come on out. It's no use hiding anymore. I know who you are. What's going on? Do you know him? More importantly, I know what you are. Boy, beneath the floor. Now. But you told me never to go down there. Who is that? I do not know. What's he talking about? I do not know. Get in. Just tell me what I want to know. No need for this to get bloody. Huh. I thought you'd be bigger. You're definitely the one. Long way from home, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, you already know the answer to that. Whatever it is you seek, I do not have it. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter. And yet you hide out here in the woods like a coward. 
You do not want this fight. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. Leave my home. You are going to have to kill me for that to happen. I warned you. Finally. You would not listen. My turn. <laughs> How incredibly disappointing. Come on, then. Why are there two beds in Try again. You talk too much. You won't talk? Fine. Maybe whoever it is you've got stashed in that house will. You've 
seen it with your own eyes. You can't hurt me. Nothing can. This fight is pointless. Your struggle is pointless. It didn't have to be this way. Pathetic! You can't win! I feel nothing! But you, you feel everything, yet you, you keep trying! I'm not my brother, and if you'd given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. But no! Let's finish this. Ah! <laughs> Stay here. so much I, I thought you're all right I am all right come <sighs> gather your things we are leaving thought I wasn't ready you are not we have no choice now Prove me wrong. Yes, sir. The mountain. It's gonna be a long trip. Yes, but an important one. Whoa. How did this happen? Who was he? I do not know. What do you want with us? Well, nobody's. Did you kill him? I did what had to be done. <gasps> Could have died. 
never leave me alone again. All right? All right. Up. You've had to kill people before, haven't you? You're used to it. We do what we must to survive. Animals, I get. They're food. Draugr, they're supposed to be dead. But people, they're trying to survive too. Close your heart to it. On our journey, we will be attacked by all manner of creature. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. Do not allow yourself to feel for them. They will not feel for you. I understand. That hanging bucket. An offering cask? Mother said Odin's disciples fill them with gifts and hang them where thieves can't reach them. That one looked really old. What is? Worshipping the gods? The gods care nothing for them. Men should not pray to monsters. Father, will we see others on the road? Yes. Friendly? No. They'll try and rob us? Possibly. Yes. Huh. Look. All this time, there's been a protection stave around our entire woods. But the stave's broken there. Did you cut those down? She had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? Come. No looking back now. So, how long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. Move. Thanks. There's the mountain! Let's go! Not yet! It's fine! See? Ah! Father, help! Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! so bad slow down your haste will cost us sorry mm. <sighs> Ugh, more drawler but these aren't moving are they dead i mean more dead boy not dead not dead oh this used to be a marketplace the giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. Wonder if Odin was ever here. Abomos! Something's breaking through the wall! Something's breaking through the wall! Uh, do you hear that? What is it? We will see. Stay close. What is that? So we're going towards the scary thing? Earlier, you said people might try and rob us. I'll kill them if they try. I'm not afraid. If we encounter men, you will stay out of it. Understand? But I can fight. You will stay out of it, boy. Speak no more of this. All these dead. You think it's safe in there? You think it's safer out here? Oh, what's that smell? Now! Are they Hellwalkers? They're untouched. Look! Someone start the fires! Sigmund, you're nice! So many days without meat. Meat? Wait, us? Behind me. 
What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. A little at a time. This fight is mine alone. Atreus! Boy? They came back. It is finished. I want to leave here. Then collect yourself. We must find a way out. Find something to pull me up. Okay. Atreus, the chain. The chain, right. You are in your head, boy. Let it go. He would have killed you. I know, I had to do it. I do know that, I just... And we will go home, boy. What? To give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no! I'm not giving up. I can do this. I just have to, you know, catch my breath. Come on up. I'm ready. Listen to me. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. I understand. Get up and move your ass! I'll kick you square in the ring if you don't move! Come on! <laughs> Can't get this slow-eyed cocklump to cross the bridge. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. Smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever asked mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at. Say, uh. You're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother. 
was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. You gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, dig your beach, ya dumber That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! Well, don't look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on, give that axe a twirl! You got a tree behind there? Hey, your paw can kill. You gonna learn to do that too? I'm not sure. This road, it leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Wanna see my wares again? You left me to fight alone. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight. Until I say stop or we are dead. Understand? Pull your weight or we go. I understand. Good then. this close to the mountain before. Looks so big. I wish Mom was here to see it. Written along the side. What does it say? As we are, we two, we three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a clue around here. That's it! I see runes! Boy, what do those runes say? Oh, it says family. That's not a clue. It's the answer. What I alone can never be. Right? Use your knife and trace the runes into the sand. Really? Kinsel. Something happened! I'm happy we're leaving this place. It is behind us now. Boy. These tracks. Hmm. A boar, maybe? Not sure. But I'll find it. Go. It is important for a warrior to keep his skills sharp. But I 
hit it, didn't I? I did what you said and it looked like it bounced off. Could the boar be magical? Hmm. What do you think? It looked weirder than any boar I've ever seen. Get after it then. Here. It ran under. Steady hand, relax. Accuracy over speed. Yes! Well, do not lose it. Boy! Where are you? my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You. The arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. Now the right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. So now... Focus. You're a witch. I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Great. Bow's a little big for you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. She said I'd grow into it. I've never seen you in these woods. She must miss you being away from home. She... She's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm... Sorry for your loss. We're here. You live in a tree? Not in it. Below it. Hemile! Look! It's all right. Is he friendly? 
boy. I promise you, he's safe. You won't hurt anyone. Save them. Keep them still. You live alone? It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Easy. Rest now. I need two more things. Fresh red root grows just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? What else? I... I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. I also need lamb's crest. Do you mind? It's a white petal flower in my garden. Just a handful. Fine. Lamb's Chris. I like her. I mean, she lives under a turtle. You are too open with her. We do not know if she can be trusted. She hasn't tried to kill us. Yet. Would this help? I dropped it? When you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? If I... If I lost it then... You did lose it. I'll take better care of it from now on. Not without thanks. You want solitude? This mark will hide you from... those who might make your journey difficult. below the house that leads safely out of these woods. Follow this path down, then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. Come, boy. Nightmare. 
Mom used to tell me about them. Didn't think they were actually real. Nightmares? Yeah. They give people nightmares. Or they are nightmares. I don't remember which. I wish I could ask her. Now we'll get to the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here, doing all of this. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods. Or even my own beds. You are not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. There's the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that. It's Thor. Thor. God of Thunder. That's right. I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I certainly did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Baldur. Baldur. An Aesir god. Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? It reads, sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? The beach wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it. That building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. We're going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it and who knows how long. You know of that serpent? He's one of the giants. He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Looked pretty big to me. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. Have I got something for you, too? Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. 
When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. Catch! The pile of rocks there, with that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the world tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see them out in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path, lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. Oh, what were those things? They smell awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that... <clears throat> You did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is No. There? Filthy. Okay, then. I'll just... I will just... Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting a lot. It would serve you to stop talking.
I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Is that smoke? Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Graythar. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the world serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back at all. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Rios! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that.
Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wake there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead, we heard someone call them Hellwalk. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Could Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up, we're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree and make travel between the realms possible. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. 
It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So. That's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel rune that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower we see from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. It didn't work. We're still here. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead, is she? Not likely. Come. Um. 
they keep murdering the light elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. Dark out, watch him! What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Again, I said nothing. Where? Because when you said something. Ah! Ah! What is it, boy? Oh. Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. Mm. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt. Evil. Look! Should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Must be the Ring Temple. Look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Sad the elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is open. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Okay, so that did something, I think. Problem with us. We do not belong here. Wait, combined together like that, they can't. Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there. So, what do you mean I see with the eyes of a child? In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish room. Draw it. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light, 
I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Ruger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard, it was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard, Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. You were wrong back there. Oh? I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. Sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. You're freezing at first! Smoke! the main bridge back. We must find a way up. Look! The blue door! We made it! You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. The dwarf again. Sindri? Hey, Sindri. We found something interesting. Oh, really? This way. Hey, how did Sindri get ahead of us? He and the blue one do seem to travel quickly. Huh. We're inside. Of course. There, the light. They've covered it up with that stuff. How would they do that? Look, another light up. What's he doing? Oh no! Why are they killing him? He didn't do anything. Do not assume. You are seeing the end of a war, boy. You do not know what led to this moment. But he didn't even defend himself. That was his choice. We make ours. Bridges. Follow me. You're restoring all the pathways. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. Hey, 
When we make it to the light? How do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You are more concerned with her safety than our goal. Quiet! I have him. You're a nice boy. That was close. Do not stray from me, boy. You don't gotta tell me. Nah! Another one! Stay back! The light! Yes, we are near our goal. But we must be careful. Understand? God. There. When it falls, be ready. We will need to move quickly. Okay. Stay behind me and protect our flank! Yes, sir! Done! Yeah. Boy! Are you injured? I'm fine. Wow. It's beautiful. The light. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. Wait. It's... It's singing. I hear... I hear her! I told you I heard her! Do you think she's in there? Ah! Ah! Ugh. That really hurt. I felt like my hand was on fire. Stay here. I don't Stay go. here. We use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I'm letting you hold my axe. It is not a gift. Still. seem to want to. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm not what he thinks I am. I know better. He 
doesn't talk to me. Doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. Except... I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere. Gone only. Moments. No! You've been gone a long, <coughs> long time. I didn't know what to do. You left me here again. <coughs> Why don't you care? I... That's impossible. We should go before they come back. I hope you got what you needed. Yes. Boy, your bow. Hold it out. On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. Come. What does this mean? Seed. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, and seed. Stupid rails. So, it's a door after all. We really gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then? up so I can see where I'm shooting. Use your ears. Adapt. I am. Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah.
Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Fine. So? Was she mine? Who? You know. Oh. She was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really. So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Sindri said, Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on, to brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to... You're back. I see you've been busy. Our observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head. Well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you. Well, I could just feel what she was feeling. What she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. What now? We have the light. To Midgard. It's crazy to think that all the realms exist in the same space, one on top of the other. It's like this room lets us travel without moving. Brock! We just came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent. Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Mm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Hmm. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency, and I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Velander mines. Haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch your step. 
Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. It's working! She was right! Come, let us finish this. Climb. You know, Mother said the Giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Tjodenheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. stories of a giant with a deer head. wonder who he is. What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree, doth know my call. Hmm. The floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. Runes! I can read it now! Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. I forget it. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and older folk. It isn't in their big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one. Uh, this is a lot of bodies. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. Do you seeking treasure? See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. The statue! We made it across! Where to now? The peak is still our goal. We find a way up. Wow. The highest peak in the realms. Think Mom knew this was the Giant's Mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. It's a name, I think. Frasley. It means terror. <gasps> What's that? Weird. There's a candle all tangled up with string and some sort of animal hide. Some kind of lantern? No wick, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Whoa. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. 
All right, how do we use it? There's gotta be a way to make that claw work. I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck... Oh, oh no! I think the rope's stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. The machinery in here looks almost dwarven. But the stonework, that's definitely Yoden. You know, I think the giants not only mined the mountain, but actually lived here. Stop! But maybe we can find our way up through there. No way! Give us the way to the top. Here we go. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Wait! That one's not broken! There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. Wow. What did you write? I asked them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come, boy. It is a long way up. All right! We're moving again! Hey, when we get to the summit, how far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. Atreus! I'm fine. Just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. Attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes. Now be ready. I think we're safe now. It would seem. Father, after we scatter Mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? 
for now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. We're almost at the summit. Nothing's gonna stop us. Go on yourself, boy, but stay behind me. Yes, a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's screaming. Wait, boy! It's Sindri! Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. to lower the crane on my mark.
actually did it. And you! Ah! Uh, but, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows, straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> Oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And I'm tight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No. No. No, no, no. Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um, how do I explain this? Oh, oh, I see. You figured it out on your own then. Just, never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just anything to help you. Yep. Look! The summit! We're so close now. Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Sorry. You know why we're here. My last visit managed to loosen your tongue. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. You brought company this time. Must be important if the sons of. Thor deigned to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget.
Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, took their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! I could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scrape in the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. 
Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. You seem nice. Before you cut off his head. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the World Tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir God. Balder! And you fought him, and won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about My the... kind? I mean, your family. Before Mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, fat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Do you eat him well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip or suck. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. So... Rock and Sindri made Mom the axe just to help her survive? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. And now the door's gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. I bet this will lead out. Turn back to Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. Father, she is here! It is so good to see you again! I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now! They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. Now, 
What's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Hamela! Hey, it's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my... That statue made in honor of Thor, and seen as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? 
Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> Members me. Why are you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunku. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat... We can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son, but young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. 
Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Famur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. No. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother. But I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. <laughs> Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between robes. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. We heading into that building? Yes. Do you think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. What do we do with that? Hmm. We will show it to the dwarves. Come here. You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What do the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Roma! Another crystal! Huh. What now? Well, a 
stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Thick. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. You are welcome to suggest a different one. seems ill-advised. That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. Oh no! The floor collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that... Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Write it. House. Tula. Bar. Desert. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thola. Thola. Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the bowl! Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. How do we get down? We jump. Really? Come! Do not panic! Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you! You're cracked, you know that? Well, well. well. Good. We should keep moving. Credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those were the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? We'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. 
I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. Something ahead. See, lad? He's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Would you focus on your damn job and quit that shit? You quit that shit. I mean it. I walked away. <laughs> See straight in years. But as long as father believes him, so do we. So you will stop talking. Focus and help me find him. You can't disappoint father. Oh, Hurry, brother. We may get a piece no, of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? <laughs> oh, there, bro, there, please, there. Stay behind me, boy! Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Oh no, don't care. Come here! Done with daddy's hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Can't believe you've lied to this though. Those skinny little arms can barely. I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need another lesson. Oh, there, oh, there, please, there. Your mother ugly or something. She cut up your face and you don't have her. Don't talk about my mother! Don't talk about my mommy! <laughs> God bless the drum lad. <laughs> Trying to rail you up. Idiot! Stop! A sense of thought I welcome to try! Head! Sorry! Overstep, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> We're coming for you! Nothing fun yet! Ah. Ah. That's what it's for! Yeah. It's a little run for you! Oh, there! Oh, there! Please, there! Well, kiss! Oh, that must have been some war to make the last of him! I'll kill you! Atreus! Control yourself! The boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. You killed Meg. That he did. 
He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I... And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern... Since when can you kill a god? You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. Wait, we were here before. But which way back? I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> Nothing to worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Look, back near the giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest was sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. Back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? That you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well... Now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. I can't believe Odin and Frey were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor is half god and half giant? Where? Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Wow. I can't believe we're setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. It's Tears, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the Giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. 
Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. It smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! It'll be a joke! Or if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! That's true, but I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother, right after I finish killing your father! Oh. Ah. Whoops, I think I broke him! <laughs> Quickly, there's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's hard. What is happening to him? I've seen in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never a god. But a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. Somebody just called the serpent. He is shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Freya! Open the door! We need 
need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! He is ill. Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Hell. The realm of the dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the nine realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Of a past, I swore, would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back, understand? Mm. Boy. Himmel. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the bridge keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Now. Rhea. When last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. As you wish. Thank you.
is nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> you cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Alright, brother. Let's see what those blades can do. Quite well in Helheim. Now I believe I see a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? Well, I'm pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. What? Hey! You reek of foreign magic! Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created Mjolnir for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them, them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well, we all got to take responsibility sometime, huh? Say, what can I do to help? I can do things. What I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. Now that Freya's given you the travel room to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Odin can survive this cold. So, hope those blades work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Dam. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper reminds of mission. He's the one we want. Just follow this bridge. Should lead us straight to him. Oh, this is all wrong. Only the newly dead should be here. There's too many. The gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, hell is overwhelmed. This Valhalla, is it within hell? Oh, no, no. Valhalla is part of Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye. And those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. Will killing the bridgekeeper help the dead leave Midgard? I don't expect it will. Though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. But who'd be mad enough to go there? 
The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. And what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right? the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. Nothing more. You're set. Better not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. Psst. Yeah. Shh. He ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he nicked those, do you? There. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Now target that wind too. See there? the winds of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome and I'm leaving. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence then. Finally understand! I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. But it's still a bit to take in. 
I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Do you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. 
You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Time of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. 
We had God things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. forget why we are here. Okay. Hold 
right. Moon on the left, sun on the right. Make a left. That's something. No, stop! Wait! What's that big kid? Father! Above you! Boy! You have to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. Tears got for us. No, raised protection room. It rubbed off. What should we do? We keep going. Boy. Yeah. On the day you were born, I made two knives, mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now, like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you must be better than me. Understand? Say it. I will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. Lemnos. 
To a journey's end. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Mm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Huh? Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Do what we want, and now we're gonna go see the giant. Aye. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on. I'm gonna tell Sindra I'm back. I'd like to see the look on his face. No. I may have kept your secret too long, but now you will keep our secret. Huh. Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too, for good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the same, lad. Don't fret. Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about. Over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear then. Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course. But it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. He should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. Truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. I think I used to feel... 
Why don't you let me carry it up from here? No. Why not? We're almost there. You know I can handle it. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I question that. What? That she wasn't a god? She was better than a god. And you shall not dishonor her. Fine. Carry her yourself. Amir, you knew all along that we were gods. Why come up with the story about Odin trying to follow us to Jotunheim before we get there? Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle and his purposes ah. are... Enough about Odin and his whole stupid family. I suppose that's Odin's doing too. Nice try. You and Mother always said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tyr wasn't. Freya neither. The Acer gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. Because we know what they are and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst, and he's dead. They're no better than us, and they're gonna be sorry they picked this fight. Thor! Blame me! Me! For what you did to Magni! My own father called me a coward. Looks like he did more than that. Move it! Or we'll pick up where he left off! I'll kill you. No. He is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about Mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. <laughs> Wishes. You lost control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. Teach me. You do not heed my lessons. I've done everything you asked, and all I wanted was the truth. Where did you get your fire bolts? Why did you hide them? You said there are consequences to killing a god. You used the blades to kill one. Who else did you kill before Magnus? How many? Do you hear me? I heard you. And these are not subjects for discussion. Do not push me, boy. Fine. Amir, guess what? I know everything I need to know now. I have nothing else to learn. Ah, oh, congratulations. Nearly there, Mar. Finally.
Carve along that. Wow. Yona. We made it. Beautiful, isn't it? Why well, I remember once. Brother, look out! <laughs> Miss me. <laughs> Instead, I'll do whatever you Shut up! All uh, this time, I thought uh, I needed you! Uh, but you're just me. Uh, uh, Turns out, the boy is the brains. No! You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonan! Oh, stupid son of a bitch! Get out of here, boy. Yes, by all means, Junior, run away. Let Daddy do all the heavy lifting for you. <laughs> ah! Let go! Calm down, boy. You are not ready for this. I am oh! ready! <laughs> and here I thought my family was fucked up. <laughs> oh, your father is right, boy. You are far from ready. Now, would you be so kind as to hold this for me? Thank you. Atreus! Give up!
right at the bridge. Hey, I asked you a question. <laughs> and when the bridge opens, the full weight of Ascot will come crashing down on you. <laughs> it's over, is it? So be it. To me. Let me out! Let go of it now or I will kill him. You know I will. <laughs> what did you do? Stay still. You will listen to me and not speak a word. I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. Wow, it's cold. This is hell? Not just hell. Worst place in hell you could have put us. I see a ship. Get us there. It only takes us halfway to Tyr's temple, but at least it gets us far from here. For a thousand mortal lifetimes, the bridgekeeper kept the living out of this place. But now that you've ripped his heart out, here we are. Funny how it all comes around. He should pay for what he said about mother. Boy. That wasn't me. was me. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. Turn away, boy. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. <laughs> it wasn't me. I couldn't have done that. Do not dwell on those thoughts. Not here. We must keep moving. Yeah. Ed, what was that? Not just the old and sick come to Helheim. So do the criminals. Hell must not draw a distinction between us and those whom these visions are meant to torture. How do we stop it? Escape Hell. As soon as possible. I'm not gonna let it bother. Like you said, Mimir, it was just an illusion. That wasn't me. No. But it is who you have become of late. Look, I know I got us into this. But I'll get us out. Whoever I am. I will get us out. You will follow orders. But maybe that's not who I am. It had better be. Now let me focus. Wait. I think I see Baldur up ahead. Stay out of sight. Listen. You, you had no right. I have every right. I am your mother. You had no right, Rich. I can't taste it. I can't smell it. I can't even feel the temperature of this room. Feasting, drinking, women. It's all gone. You never God. have to feel pain again. Death 
has no power over you now. You would rather die? See you again? Yes. Take it away, I can't. Please, please, please take it away. It doesn't work like that. Trust me in time. You will fuck me. You will fuck me. Come on. I never want to see you again. Never. <laughs> what you did to me. Freya is his mother. What you Why did, did you keep this me? from us, Head? Would you believe it slipped my mind? I would not. Uh, I'm at a loss. I assure you have no reason to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this. Soon. Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Tyr's temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall which, sadly, we are downstream. That means even if we get there intact, we'd still need to sail up a waterfall somehow. The Vanir built the greatest ship that ever was, and it can fly. Skifplothnir? Yeah, because it was designed to fly. This was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we have. So now the sails are loose? Just watch. They're pulling the sails down? But how are they going to catch the wind? Stay with a boat. I can't believe it. You just made a huge Skylander. Atreus. I can help? Together now. going to get out of here. Something stopped us! Portside! Harpoon! I will free us!
It is time, my son. Look around at what you have done. realm now as long as we didn't wreck our way back what is this place this is odin's i'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere look at that it's the missing panel about here odin must have stolen it but why he always has his reasons might i have a look This is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Hi. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Concealed by tears so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose. Ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber Tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace, unity, hope. Other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. Boy. Before when you saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? 
Marrowhead. Why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Balder and Freya... I... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Fred, tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Ugh. Enough. Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All right! Do you... what now? I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's back. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That's a plus. There, on the left. I see that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tears Test. That's why we're gonna make it to Odenheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lad's found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. Ha! I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. Roy, your knife. Well, what have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great Aldumla's others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel at Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. So you're saying Tyr's shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking to reach the secret of that view in mind, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? 
If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith, Head. This is incredible! Oh, how can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on. That was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Oh no! It took the stone! The tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? It's moving! It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. Look! We're back in Midgard. There's the bridge! We did it! The tower's back where it belongs! Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms were made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tia, tells you just how desperate they were. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. This is it! Here we go! Wait a minute. This isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Amir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. In any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, bit of a long shot. For years I've seen Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock did Sindri! Hey guys, question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> He wanted me to build a... He showed it to me, you see, and I... The coin! Sorry, will you excuse me? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We'd better go see what the World Serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. 
But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the worst. Anything you need to do, I'd do it now. Just some sage advice. It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. <sighs> well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in the Giant's Belly either. How about you, Father? Never one who was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. Here we go. dream about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Mimir, any idea where Odin hid your eye? No. It's not like I can still see through it. <laughs> yep. That's an eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. How's it feel, Mimir? Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term, tempting feet? What's that down there? So how do we get back out? We signal. Hold on! What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. Nothing good! Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. this what happened to him something we did no something else a dead giant 
Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! Freya. We can still trust her. Right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all? What you have cost me. My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel? <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk, vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? You might want to turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> what is that? <sighs> I can feel this. <sighs> oh, I can feel everything. <laughs> He's vulnerable now? Free! 
Do you hear the wind? We are moving. That arrow. Vulgar bunch. The mistletoe? In the quiver strap, yes. Mistletoe harmed him. Freya said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. Controlling that thing? Stay out of it! I can reason with him! No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you! You can't stop me! No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me! I will protect him! I will not let him die! Now touch it! This will all be over soon! I feel! I feel! Freezing! Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Ironic, <sighs> isn't it? Look! I have an idea! 
Come on! Do it! Do it! Stop! Please! He's being father. Not a threat. You will not come to us again. You will not touch her. I don't need your protection. Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness, we can build something new. <laughs> Never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, we've seen me dead. We'll make things right. I won't stop you. <laughs> I know. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy! Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. 
I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. We are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. Hmm. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing, but she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch, oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya, the one thing she treasured from their marriage. Only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Hey, Brock, could you take a look at this? What you got for old Brock? Here we go! See the giants. Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Boy, ahead. Get
Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. You have me back. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! 
Something's happening. It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... New giants? That's us! The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain, the stone mason, all these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But what does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But... Why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look. It's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
Goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that Mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So... Why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. I mean, you missed it. if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? We're finally home! Feels like a lifetime ago. A bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you.
Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. Hungry? What's next? Oh. The storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? I hope Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is... quite sick, Atreus. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Hear that? Yes. 
Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Not again. Get ready. Falcon! Give up that easy. What she? She never does. Stay alert. There she is. Uh, ah! Mother. Uh, 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 got you. Uh, We've got to get away from her. I'm trying. Up there. What she? Look out. Uh, Trees, they're coming down! That was too close. He's coming around again! Oh, oh. I do not wish to fight you! Uh. 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 I'm losing my grip here! Uh. Oh no! Freya, we're not your enemy! Freya, what? Please don't make me do this! River State. We made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. It's Fauna. Up. <gasps> I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Hmm. Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. I will get the deer. <laughs> I don't hear him. 
He always says hello. Betrayus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? <gasps> Okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you too. Where's your food? Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. What? Too big? He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Desu. Sofna. 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 the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. What for? Drinking is all we ever do. Ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. Prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. Or go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? 
make one. You do not know what mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Look. Can I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him? Well, I recognize that dull expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then. Kratos? Are you joining me? Very. Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumbles. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? And your thoughts? We hunt the predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Approach slow. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, don't! <sighs> Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. 
Now it is. The problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Good boy. This way. Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions... I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. Do you believe in prophecy? I'm skeptical, but though we have seen things that defy explanation, so speaking as the smartest man alive, I have no bloody idea. Are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter, kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurting Atreus and chasing it to help. You know the lad. Atreus, where are you?
Prayed Fenrir, and then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear. Charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. Uh, I, I, I didn't know I could do that. taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! Going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah, are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that.
didn't mean to. Intent does not matter. Only consequences. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. Isn't it cold enough? We are almost home. Hey, Svana. You're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave girl. That's right. He's good with them. No surprise, really. Specky, you okay? Just a little thunder. That's a good girl. Good girl. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us, if that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. <sighs> now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. Who was that? The ball. Come in. I have me. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about. place.
should have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you? A calm and reasonable person. If the moment calls for calm. I'd say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you? Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah. We know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word of you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day. Uh. 
about time. I've been waiting for this. You're not from here. We got a tradition called blood payments. It means I get a piece of you for what you took from my family. You'll pick it up. That was for Boulder. Now show me this god killer I've heard so much about. Can't fight without your axe, coward. I did not seek that fight with your brother. <laughs> I don't care. The ghost of Sparta thing? Yeah. Then you know what I'm capable of. Shame! Now we got a fight. Was hoping to see your blade. Guess they don't come when you fall. Stop holding back! You should be better than this! That's for Magnus! Sorry about your statue, Tear, you preachy old If you're not fighting dirty, you're not fighting! Right? Your son struck first! Uh. <laughs> Get a clean slate. That ain't how it works. You're a destroyer, like me. Oh, no. I say when we're done. I'm not leaving till I see the real you. Get up! I see you 
why my sons fell to you. Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, all father, has plans for him. No! Consider your blood debt paid. It's in you. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we? Boom, now. Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk. Let's check on Atreus. Well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me old near pack of punch? You know we made a hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold her own. Kind of the point after all. Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection stays busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, fella. I will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Or raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. <laughs> I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To uh, pay for the roof. And he invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I told him no, obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tyr? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me? I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. I think I know how. Sir. So we gather your things.
Are you ready? Go. Change your bastard. Going. The old temple in the wild. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Say anything else while you were outside. Yeah, he said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? <laughs> oh. Come to it. Whoa! What the hell, brother? What was that? Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh, yeah. Being all the way on guard. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants and Loki? You mean Tyr? The old god of war in these lands, who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So... Enough. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants, so he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. What do you think? I can't imagine what the lies found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one more. Oh, no. Brother! Uh. A stalker! On your guard, brother! I think we found our predator! Your shield's busted, brother. Just keep your feet moving, yeah? Its horns are glowing. Might be a weak point. <laughs> I just bloody tear it. Fimble winter flare, the raiders torn out and barging in, and now stalkers spring in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. You 
You watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free. Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are. Chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time. Or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Others, oh, right. How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention... black smoke and bleeding earth. But... We can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. it. It wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding elf? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. 
Their minds did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears and Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Mimir, what did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Brother, the work. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Sparta Farm. Bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us. Enough. You will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search. For good. All right. You won't be sorry. Kratos! Over here! Sentry! As I live and breed, is that Atreus? It's been so long. How you've grown! Uh... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. We've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimble Winter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Right this way, Kratos. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need... Is your help getting to Svartalfheim so we can try and rescue Tyr? To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son in disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just, it's just, there's, it's just a lot of mud. And why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was something we needed your help with. Oh, the Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey, not so fast. 
How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happened to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you daft prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey, I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. Begin with this. Mmm. Busted up good. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He is imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> If that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? Oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Spartalfheim? Huh, stupid Aesir name. We look like Dark Elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Neither Valir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. You hear that? Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, sin! 
Bring the astounding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now, release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell got eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... <gasps> there! That should do it! <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> The Bifrost is broken. And now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa, do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything, e everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Why are these things so fast? off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like... Did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. That's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. If 
with the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Cindy, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Do you really think Odin would honor his end of the deal? That if we keep our distance, he'll leave us alone? No. That does not mean I intend to fight him. Perhaps we find a new home, where neither he nor Freya can trouble us. But once we find Tyr, he can help us fight. Fight? That's, uh, not what I meant. Obviously, we have so much to learn from Tyr. Any way he can help us is good, right? Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm? Glad, if I'm here. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimblewinter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus. Look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither for the young brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're uh running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to we you for don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Sindri, hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> I knew we'd left something behind. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain materials... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? 
patience. I find it's best to see these things. Oh, in action. Ah. Whew. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of the How was I supposed to know they were there? Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. This looks promising. Right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> Very well. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off.
Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. So we're going to Durland's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I... I wondered where she went after a little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Rest of them are. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Like this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the all father's given name and uh yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. to Derlin's head? The rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, the bearer of Galahor. Do you believe on that one? There are few things so dangerous in a man as a lack of doubt. Looks like we're here. 
Come on. This way. You can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Whoa! Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... Oh, no, no! Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. Looks like we have to get this one back on the track. is small. Okay, we need to go left. The other way. Your left, father. Keep going. Wait, I meant my left. Keep going. Hmm, hopefully that's it. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. Yeah, it's covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. Stop! 
Keep trying, little brother. Stop this train. I think it's about to. No! the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. <laughs> like we found Darlin's mine entrance. got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold horrors? I think this is it. This is the mine. Intriguing. However, we're ill-equipped to do anything with it right now. It certainly smells like we're headed into a mine. I think I can hear the water, too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. <sighs> I found where those wretches were coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close. No. <laughs> Sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's the door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. It's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Well, its instructions do not say which one. Nope. We're on our own here. Your question from before, about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. 
And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword. Looks. <clears throat> tear? Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tear currently is. He... he's gotta be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Ahem. Brothers, with Thimblewinter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Okay, new exercise. Let's think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in his mind. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. <laughs> Another empty vault. Ahem. <clears throat> Little brother. Perhaps it's time no, we... No, don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. Ugh. That's not what I was ready for. Another dead end. Where could he be? Atreus, this mine is largely abandoned. It is unlikely. Here's here. I know it. Erwin's direction stopped at the entrance to the mine. We just have to keep searching until we find him. You said you'd follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will follow, but I state what I see. Not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear, sir? Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine, I get it. Bravas, wait, is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's barred, they must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the spare bed clothes. I see what we must do. Trickery is this Odin? What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. Those plates. I know you. God killer. Have you come for me now? Only to free you. Stay away. Brother, let me try. Tear. Tear. Look, you know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir! No! No, 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 no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! Yeah, stay away from me, you monsters! Stop! We need him! Wait! Okay. 
Just leave me alone. Tyr, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get Get you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe, I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You... Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? you in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange names. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Can you feel that? A wind blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names by which I should call you? I'm Atreus. You already know Mimir. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Yonah? My mother was the last giant in Midgard. Yafe. Yafe. I remember that name. She tried to help people, too. She's in the light of Alphon now. You have my sympathies. Please, let me get that. It's the least I can do. Whoa. Why risk Odin's wrath to free me? Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Mimir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment, execrable torture at the hands of the Old Father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... Oh, there. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. Ah! You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. Which means Balder... Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard, and then he found Kratos and... Anyway, I'd promise to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms. If they chop off my head, they are bring it back. Come here. Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetlands. Watch out! No. No, 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 no. It's okay. You got it. Why did I get back? You should have taken the spear to 
invented yourself. No. I have abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You, you speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me, that I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war, or worse yet, lead you to it, then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tear we need. We need you. for a good night's rest and maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Balder tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the Giants are all gone. And how they called me Loki. And finding the shrines... The giants are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. Yggdrasil. It's been too long. I had forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. House. Lord Tyr, you're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. You hold still. Yep. Oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tear. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tear. <laughs> Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! 
Come see what I got for you. So that's what's left of Tyr, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical? You know what? They must be in the pantry. I'll just look quietly. <sighs> Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the Allfather's eye on me. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. Expect too much. Ah, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just. Wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? You brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Enver's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened. And I need answers. So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died. But I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of...
turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slopper? Yeah. Bet I lost control. Brain knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's... venomous? So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thor a blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Huh. Shoot. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? There! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you no. That's not weird at all. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back.
Door's frozen. Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? So what was your plan, anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is... Yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby, I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though, sweet Vessel, I wish it did. Ha! Ah! See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. Yoppa! Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan! Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death! And this is Ragnarok! We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option! Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Oh. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. <sighs> yep, that's the door. Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you. Thanks. I feel so much better now. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably would mentioning that. Is that Freya? Why am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh, I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this!
You would stake your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us, offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. <laughs> In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin. And he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Tears alive? Yeah. We, we broke him out of Svartalfheim. Impossible. The Nine Realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! <laughs> Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. But I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Give up! I still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Give me a second! Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. 
I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. You did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. Ah! <sighs> So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to... Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peen? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Uh. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You're better than the seer who saw everything. Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hmm. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. T, 
here. You're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Indrasil seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? What? This must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait. If you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. 
That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? So long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago. Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Ah, oh, the Light of Alfheim. How stunning. I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said he... went he'd... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone.
We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this Hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elves came. I thought all the Dark Elves were... Here? Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jodenhar? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. 
There must be another way. So, what'd you see? A lot. Roa lied to Odin. Ragnarok isn't the end of everything. It's just the end of Asgard. Just the destruction of an entire realm, is it? To say nothing of its citizenry, its wildlife. Those ignorant and innocent of Odin's misdeeds. Enough. There is much to discuss once we are safe at home. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. He's really worked up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way. One of those light bombs! Careful! Far from over. I. It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger.
Look, I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Trevor. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. Discuss our best move when we are out of danger. Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We... Open the gateway, please. Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. <gasps> Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated block. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Whatever this thing is, I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels aplenty out here. Let's find one and see where it takes us. half you have ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. We'll get you out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. This is the spot! We can cut the half goofa loose here! It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. Well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I.
Ymir. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimthor. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance <laughs> to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Enough. We will continue later. Well, I hope Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, and I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neathhog. Neathhog? That's the mother? Correct! She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neatho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neatho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Please come back any time. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. No. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word that clouds your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? 
every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you to be safe, to be smart. But to use the judgment of a man and not die. It. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you are oh, Atreus? My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. Literary. I wish I had known I was a god in Elfon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonheim! What do you want? Let's go! Duma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run whatever. off! Whatever. whatever. Can you tell whatever. me where whatever. I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? I gotta get out of here.
He should pay for what he said about Mother. But we're gone. We can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than Mother's. Please stop. Where are you going? Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? <coughs> yeah, how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? that smell the air here it's I don't know sweeter maybe it's these trees coming <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me <laughs> that's a joke right I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet.
pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been... Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angraboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, don't you? R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Oh, Loki. This way. I'll, uh, take my own path. <laughs> so where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, yeah, I've heard the looking dark from the Victorian. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be... giant. So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Surviving Fimble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. Is that 
Chain mail? I wonder what Brock and Sindri would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? You Midgard giants are strange. Shaka. Wait, where are you? Over here. <laughs> Whoa! Gotcha. Thanks. Guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Evie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay! Magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. For many giants, there is beauty in learning your path and walking it. Of course, others see the future and get messed up by it. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before, where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already, just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. Wonder who he is. Wait.
No. No. It's not right. That can't be what happens. No. No, no. No. This isn't real. Ironwood's not real. Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, you're okay. You're okay. It's all alright. It'll be okay. Look at me. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. It's fine. Just breathe. Hey, hey, breathe. Good. That's good. See, it's okay. Let go. Come on back. It's okay. You're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. No, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future. It says I serve Odin and my father dies. There's just no way. Look, this is the only way things turn out. The sooner you accept that, the better. Oh, shit. I was mean to. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Come on. Loki, I need your help with this. What's this? Here, follow me. Where are we going? We're gonna get some food, plant some seeds, my everyday stuff. But first, I want you to meet someone. Hi, Ala. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, wow. She, she's a big girl, huh? Come on up. Good girl. Ganga. So, um, I guess you know about the whole champion of the... Jotnar? Yeah. Do you want me to call you that instead? No. Loki's good. Sure. Champ. <laughs> so, where did you say we were going? We need to collect some fruit. If we follow the river, we should find some. There's flowers over there. Silence. I... Okay. <laughs> no, that's what they're called. They only grow in Jotunheim. My mother and I used to take naps in them when my grandma and her fought. It was one of the only places she found peace. Excuse me? It sounds like she likes you. Yeah, sure. Did you grab that one? Got it. Those wolves. You take care of them? I do. They're good friends. I can't wait to meet more of them.
How many more of these fruits do you need? You in a hurry to leave? No, I just gotta save my father's life now, apparently. Loki, we have time. I see some fruit up there. Then we should be up there too. Wait, were you talking to me or the act? <laughs> Let me help. Thanks. You're welcome. After you? Listen, I know we're out here having fun and all, but maybe we should talk about what you saw in the mural. What I saw would never happen. I wouldn't join Odin if it cost me my father. If I learned anything from my mother, it was that these things have a way of coming true, one way or another. I learned from my father, too. Close your heart to it. But I can't. Not for this. <laughs> can't reach it. You know, I may have thought about going to Asgard, but I'd never do it. Yeah? My father wasn't helping me figure out my destiny. When Odin and I were alone, he offered to teach me. If you were alone with Odin, he could have easily killed you. I mean, not that easily. Let's head up to that ledge. More fruit. We don't need it, but we can grab it anyway. How do you know when it's ripe? My parents taught me. It's a delicate guessing game. So you can't be sure of everything that's gonna happen then? I'm sure of the big stuff. <laughs> oh, Yala can't get under that log. Getting these ingredients, feeding your animals. You do this every day? If I don't, they'll die. It just seems like a lot for someone your age. Our age. Uh, right. One of the last conversations I had with my father, he said he was sorry he couldn't protect me, that I'd have to grow up so fast. At least you got an apology. I have a way with words, huh? Nice view. Oh, just you wait. It gets better. You know, maybe Odin needs you for something. Or maybe it's not what it looks like. Maybe I'm tricking Odin. Oh, is trickery something you're good at? I lied to my dad a couple times. Oh, a master of deception. <laughs> Green bulbs go here in this bucket. Hey, if I need a... Like, fix my bow or something? Can I...? Of course. I've got supplies in my tool chest over there. By the way, I left something in the tool chest for you. I'll meet you over by Yala when you want to leave. Is it okay to hang out around here? As long as you want.
Hey, what's this one? I painted that one with grandmother. Wasn't as good back then. And Gabauda, earlier you said the Udengard can be disorienting. But what is it? Hmm. You know Amir? The first of our people. He died a long time ago, right? Odin killed him. Yes. Odin destroyed everything that remained of him, save for one thing. His dreams. Odin couldn't touch those if he tried. And they are ours. What's next? Well, now's when I usually harvest the beast roots I mix with them. I mean, unless you still want to leave. No, I can stay. I want to stay. You know, I paint too. Well, I draw. What do you draw? All kinds of things. Monsters, artifacts, anything father and I encounter on our journeys. Oh, is your father an artist too? <laughs> no. There are some roots up this way. Easy, girl. You've got this. Do you have any animals that could maybe, uh, go faster? No offense, Yala. Of course I do. They just can't carry both of us. This is much easier. Hmm. Got it. Yeah. I've got this one. There's another up the path. Just take only what you need. See? You won't need that. The roots snap pretty easily. There. Just take a little off. A good twist ought to do it. Like that? Exactly. We're coming! We're coming! There's more roots this way. She really doesn't like me, huh? She does. It's just, apart from me, the only other person she spent time with is... Dragon, on the ridge! Loki, show me the wolf! That's it! You got this! Home again. Yeah. Let's drop off these roots in the bucket up on the left here. Then, I've got one last thing to show you. You okay? Yeah, just... We should head back toward the water. This way. Is it all right if we stick around longer? I wanna, you know... Repair some stuff. Yes. Can I ask you something? Of course. Are you, are we the only giants left? Sort of. It's complicated. Want to know? It'll be much easier to just show you. I promise. Well, what about my prophecy then? If it is true, what do you think I should do? Doesn't matter. There's no changing where you end up. You can try whatever you want to avoid it, but it'll happen anyway. You're telling me nobody has ever changed their fate? I mean, sure, maybe some details change, but the endpoint remains the same. It's better to walk your path than to struggle against it. <sighs> What's that? A lift. We'll have to leave Yala for a bit. We're heading upward. Farah! 
This, um, gift doesn't seem like something you're excited about. It just means we're coming up to the end. What does that mean? You'll understand once we get there. Now, time to hold up my end of the prophecy. Follow me. <clears throat> this way. We're coming up on the Valley of the Fallen. What happened to them? They were tired of living in fear of Asgard, so they hid. Left a pile of corpses to confuse Odin, should he ever find a way into Jotunheim. Where'd they hide? We'll see. <laughs> I got it. Marbles. Wait, you've seen these before? Not these, but I found a few in Midgard. Where? Inside your mother's murals. <laughs> oh, but that's... There are more out there. What are they? Just look. Yahtzee. Crowther? Hey, careful. Aura. Giants. These belong to the giants? These are the giants. They had a choice. They could stay in Jotunheim, waiting for Odin to find a way in to slaughter them. Or they could hide. My father helped whisper their souls into these. And before he died, he passed them on to me. It's within these. They found peace. Now they are your responsibility. Sure. Well, that's what my mother saw. You're supposed to know what to do with them when the time comes. And when's that? I don't know. Let's head back. This is a lot of responsibility. It is. It's all yours. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm done. I guess. Now that I've given you those, my part in all this. Y you could always come with me. We could fight Odin together. If I was supposed to fight alongside you, I wouldn't disappear from your damn mural halfway through. I understand. Well, we shouldn't break up the set. Don't you think? Let's keep 
keep walking. Huh. Tallest peak in the realms. The only other time I was in Jotunheim, I was there with my father. You know the giant's fingers? I spread my mom's ashes there. Feels like ages ago. Hey, just because of some dumb mural, your story doesn't have to be over. I know. I mean, I have plans. It's just... It's over as far as the giants are concerned. So what's that make me? Wait, do you feel that? Feel what? Help me with this. We should get back to Yala. Bara! Past those rocks, there's a sinkhole. That's where we're headed. We should... Something on your mind? Nobody believed this place was real. They're gonna be so surprised. Loki, you can't tell anyone about Ironwood. Not even your father. The biggest thing keeping this place safe is that Odin's not looking for it. My wards can keep the wildlife at bay, but if Asgard ever came looking... I get it. I'm sorry. I won't tell anyone. you'll feed this green bulb to? <laughs> Whoever wants it. But maybe Earpo will get it first. We'll keep that. We'll share, though. Watch the sinkhole coming up. Lots of creatures in it. Used to get a lot of supplies for paint down there. Yeah? We should run them out. Your paint supplies are important. If that's what you want to do. Uh, sure. Why not? Lean back. Perfect. Hey. Hey, I, uh... Killed a flower? Oh, I... It's a gift. Thanks, but, uh, you keep it. Anyway, we're looking for wretch nests. Those will give me the supplies I need, so keep an eye out. Oh, I meant to ask you. Your mother had visions. Can all giants tell the future? Some. In dreams. Hey, yeah. I dreamt of Thor a while ago. Thor? Came true, too. He showed up at my house. He did? Sounds kind of like a nightmare. Yeah, kind of. Perfect timing. For what? Oh, wow. I know things have been weird in a lot of ways, but I'm glad you came here. Me too. So now that I know how to get back here, I could come back anytime I wanted, right? When? I don't know. After things calm down. As in, after Ragnarok? Yeah. Sure. I don't think I'll be busy then. Come on, girl. You can make it. What's up here? A shortcut. <clears throat> Good girl. You can do it, Yala. I believe in you. Let's give Yala a break. I, 
I meant what I said before. You know? About your paintings. They're really good. Are you trying to cheer me up? Yeah. Is it working? Ask me again and... Oh, damn time. What the... Shut up. Too late to whine now. Now. Who was that? Kryla. She... <laughs> What's wrong with it? I can't... feel anything. <laughs> There's nothing to feel. Carla whispered its soul away. You know where she lives? What are you gonna do? I've buried enough wolves this winter. Follow me. <clears throat> if we run into Carla. Please don't do anything drastic. Why? She's my grandmother. What? She wasn't always like this. When she learned my father wouldn't do anything to avert his fate, she changed. I see. Lata, go! This is Gryla's home. No lights. She may still be checking her traps, but she might have more animals inside. We have to be quick. Create a way up for you. So, Gryla, what does she need animal souls for anyway? She can live moments from their lives. Finally feel free. The wind in their fur as they run. Their only worries being what to hunt and where to sleep. But it's not real. Oh. Ryla's still out. Wow, the things are so big. Where's the wolf? There's a door to the cellar over here. She might keep the animals down there. I can't feel anything, just like the other one. She took its soul. There's not much more we can do. Hold this. What are you... You didn't 
I have a least favorite giant. Did you? What? Never mind. This one. No. You can't. Your mother said I'd know what to do with these. Yes, eventually. I just gave them to you. I know. But... They can't hide forever. Right? And we can't just leave it here to die. Are you sure? No. I actually don't know how to do this part. Okay. Together, then? That's it? Where's it going? That even work? I don't know. But you're giving up already? They're your responsibility. It's not that. It's not. I just think they're better off with you. Call me Atreus. Okay. Let's get back. Head up those stairs again. I'm sorry. I just... We'll have to get out the same way we came in. She can't know we were here. Then we better put that cup back when we get to it. a soul to anybody. It's just a vessel for pain. I damn near envy you. Okay, the cauldron. Without it, she'll have no use for the souls. I'll distract her. You free the wolf. Then we break the cauldron. You sure? No. But we can't hide forever. Go. I told you never to come back here. That's right. Look at me. There's so many things I've forgotten, and you refuse to be one of them. It doesn't have to be this way. If Ragnarok is coming, wouldn't you rather face it together? I am destined <laughs> ever to for anybody. What if your mom? Destiny was so so young. The father. Oh, for me. Ah! You draw the fray! Loki! Loki! Yeah! Okay! 
Get out of my house! Through here, follow me. This way. That's right. Run! Up this way. There's a way back to her kitchen. Where are you? You sure you want to go back there? I told you, we have to. I can hear you. Over there. Got to destroy that cauldron. Can you swing across? Where'd you go? Hmm? You hiding? You should have stayed hidden with your pay. <laughs> you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. Get out! Just... Get out! No. Oh. Let's go. Oh. You think you've done something here, granddaughter? You are nothing and no one will ever remember you not even loki you'll just be a forgotten chapter in his story he'll be too busy mourning his father i see you again you wish you died with your parents Are you sure it's all right to leave her here? What if she comes out looking for... She used to leave me food. What? She'd say she didn't care about me, but... Sometimes I'd wake up. I'd see a loaf of bread sitting next to the fire. Just baked just the way she always used to. She's not a monster, you know? She's lost. You wanna walk? This way. 
she get you back? You've been gone longer than you think. Anchor Boda. It's fine. This was a long time coming. I'll be back once we reach the other side of this pass. Well, then... That's two out of three? Atreus. Race me! Come on! I see what you're doing. You know you want a rematch after and last time. I appreciate. Um... Last time, I beat you. I'm pretty sure it was a tie. Pretty sure it wasn't. So prove me wrong. One, two, three, go! Fine. You coming or what? Go, go, go! You're fucked? Oh no, you don't! Watch the turn here! <laughs> Magic fox the whole way. Loki, or er, Atreus. Thank you. I'm sorry she was so hard on you. Me too. Well, I suppose you're ready to get home now. I'll meet you by the shrine when you're ready. Do I have to leave? Not if you don't want to. You still don't believe it, do you? I can't. I think I'm being stupid. I think... you care for your dad so much you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. Alfe? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I know how it feels... to lose a parent... to lose both. Your mother may be gone, but your father... You've still got time to say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. But... I don't know. We've got to be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. happens to you now? I don't know. Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay. I think your part is as big as you want it to be. But 
What are you gonna do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die. I gotta get back. Okay. Huh. The stars here are different. No. You just are. I am gonna see you again. Sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. Think of it. Repeat it. I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days. I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. That's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... Yeah! <laughs> 
Violation imaginable. No! You do not want this. Hold your mind. Control it. She was our friend. For the moment, you're of more use to me. Pleasure to see you again. Bronifer. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. What is it you want? 
I refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim, coming right up. If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it, and destroy it. I will help you, but it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. Going or what? Ain't going nowhere without this. Sure. Where would you muck spouts even be without? What is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. Because you did. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beefwit brother of yours. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrote, too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Mufelheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimblewinter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems like. Falcon! <sighs> Come on then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winter for you. Not. They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? Market, huh? Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprise. Esteem.
Arrogance bringing back memories of that wedding of yours. Fancy folks and quality meats. So I remember your brother stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this much damage? Depends on the weapon. And the man. <laughs> This river, it used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor, too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. Voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. We sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me! I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can, I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that? Trusty hag. Oh, can it, Blobber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are ya now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. We wish this camp kept secret. Understood? I will not compromise it. No, we wouldn't dare. Good. We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please. Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty only seeing Ace here in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That. That is a friendly face. Right? 
His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm-hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Oh, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, careful you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words if you would hear them. Speak then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own. Thanks. <laughs> Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. Serves the Aesir right. These are formidable creatures, very territorial, too. <laughs> we'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya, but it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I see. Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. My villain. I used to play hide-and-seek with Freya in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate should be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril.
Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Huh. Well done, bro. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. There. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Opinbera. World tree roots. Bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nepo! The creature! It belongs to Odin? No! It protects Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are. Master was counting on it. I tried! Yes, but there are more. She will guard them with her life. 
it done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. that. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. Send Odin my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Craig. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. 
The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for you. So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? Forgiveness can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. So what's next for you? If not preparing for war? I do not know. But I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. at last yes uh let's celebrate you reclaim the throne we'll rebuild me and you against the world huh just like the old days i'm not staying i don't understand you're here maybe together we can take back what's ours i only just got back what's mine I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it... One you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how is choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? 
knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. missed you so much. And are you angry? <laughs> but I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just... Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if you ain't staying here, bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, Maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tears. That's kind of you, brah. I may do just that. Well, all right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? You can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Go ahead, carve the letter. Sula. It's an incantate. Su. Na. The elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alpine. Kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. 
Rockwell. If you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. Well, brother, before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye, but surely the lad's got more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Sucker, he owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddesses. Talks to squirrels now, huh? Like I was saying, I don't rightly know who's yelling at who in there, but I figure they both got the dress. Oh, come on then. Hey, here! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be thrilled. I don't know. You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> Answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth! The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind! He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if Mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets are hard to be stuck with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great, I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Let go! Oh. What the fuck? Atreus! Oh. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Oh. First, he thinks I've been to Asgard, then flying. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! No. Charlie! Please. 
Please! Charlie! Mm. <laughs> hey, big guy. I'm here now. Don't you worry. I need to get you warm. You're gonna have to stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't... Help if you don't... Emily! Emily! I know. It's cold in here. <sighs> I should close that window before snooping around. Freya hasn't been checking on you? Right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Wonder what happened to her. Is this Baldur's? Wonder how father was able to earn her forgiveness. Wow, it's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From her home in Vanaheim? She must have really missed it. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. I do. There's got to be something I can do. It, it's okay, buddy. I think he's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him.
Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Wait, that sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? Nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh, All Father saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, can you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long are you staying? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. Was that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's raven. You know, from Hugin and Moonin. It's a pretty good guy. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. <sighs> well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. The enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome. I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Mm. Then why are you out there and not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> Think you could pull me up or 
No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. <sighs> yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where? Think how mad the All Father's gonna be when when he finds out you killed his guest, Loki of the Jotnar. The Yotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. <sighs> I will be the judge of that. This way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Hondo? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes, why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. Now join me on the platform, won't you? The Allfather doesn't like to be kept waiting. Oh, done drinking it in already. Cornerstone of civilization in the Nine Realms, not really your cup of tea. I see. Oh, uh, no. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move, and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Gultopper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burnt. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you... Clearly, whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Kramther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the All-Father needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the All-Father built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ha! 
Say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Knock it off. Like it or not, he's all father's guest. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, Father. Oh, Mo. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think. You know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh? <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, He's not exactly getting an unbiased view, but you, you're curious, open-minded. 
That's important. Reached. Meast. Carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All What's fine. more? Queen Gana. The Ain Huyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Huh. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Heriar, but they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon Thinafen, Ruskar. Moon Thinafen, Swarm. Multinafen. Tiana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know, I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. OK, but. Look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in, a major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? A truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I am not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. All other. Sir. <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're training puck pockets. You know what, Derlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised on time, on, and of course, safely. 
The dwarves have never left, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You've got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. So how do you become a Valkyrie? First, I train till I'm the best I can be. Then I wait till grandfather notices. And then I hope he and my dad can convince mom it's okay. You know, my father and I, we encountered a whole bunch of Valkyries. Wait, what? Where? Promise to tell me everything. I promise. No, there isn't. Mother, did you meet Loki? Oh, now he's got you involved with this? Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't that diplomacy? You understand who this is, right? What his father did? Why does he want him here? Mom! Come on, you're embarrassing me. We'll talk about this later. I suggest you go about your business with the all I will. Maybe I'll get her. Sorry about her. Moms, right? So, did you want to look around some more, or do you really need to get to work? No, there isn't. Yeah, but, but, like the honey spoiled. Honey doesn't spoil. That's what the Aesir would say. Listen, whatever grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. Catch you later. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Ah. You see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and 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 accept the answer you know I'm about to give.
I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since. Huh. Who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us to give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? To give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. Or more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge. Truth. All truth. All the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe. Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end, looking for and finally unearthing this. See that? shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? Recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. Oh, father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Moose Bahan? The rest of the mask is here? To where all father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? What the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Hey, kid. Where's the mask pointing us? 
Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... It's too slow. Hey! You can't just grab people like that. No, what else do they do? Throw you? <laughs> you know, I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my sons. I haven't taken it from yet. What do you mean? Later. Don't want to keep the all father waiting. Speaking of which, mask. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you? Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Thamor, Ronan, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms and I reveled every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, the last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. I think you could... Don't play. <laughs> Listen, Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look! Clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She hey, seemed... Hey, come look at this. Thor, what the... Surtur's shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking... Well, that's your problem. <sighs> the trials are just past that cliff. Might be something really good for you. <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. The question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fun. But are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to. What seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? It just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Looks like we need to head through that gate. Thor? Make that impression. Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. No! No! Ah! Damn it! Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Oh. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant and I'll revel in killing you too. What did you do? Loki. <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned, you get it? Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, 
You can trust me. Hey, you're back. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah, I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from grandfather's study? Oh yeah, her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow, all father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. Huh. Are you trying to make friends now? Well, I just aided the Elf Father. You said that makes us allies. Yes, as long as you had no treacherous. Interesting. You don't really know. Whatever, man. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. But I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encourage his foolishness. Confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? 
I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. More than once. But believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate. Lead your armies into war. Secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another. For your own sake. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Nitho. I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember? They really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother. What exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Never more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself. Had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to spill this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the horns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. 
Raiders have made themselves quite at home. I'm not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrin. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. He's so loyal. Why? Clever. Oh. Mm hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. Hmm? I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard and Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Oh, nah. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap. The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. So the Norns told you nothing could change Baldur's fate. They did. Which only made me more determined to try. Baba, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. <laughs> I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the World Serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The Sisters of Fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. The set leads here. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How very dare you! Babbling! <clears throat> Door. Oh, that looks official. Mother. My boy. I can feel everything. Walter, listen to me, please. Hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! It is 
not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! The monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Hideaway. Never doubt it would make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. Finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son. son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer of fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. 
And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt Omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act, to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galator. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <laughs> Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies. And yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe. The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person. Seize their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, 
he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. 
Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a lear been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old and prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. So this lady, then... The Lady of the Forge. Ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too much cool. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro. I've never seen you so... reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up! No, fuck you! <laughs> it does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way! Let me look! Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out.
Raiders before it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Victor almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done.
Yeah? Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative ahead. Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. I see a shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go? <laughs> well, thank you kindly, Brock. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid, you really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. That nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. So tell me then, what's the new weapon? A spear. One with the powers of Dropnia. Interesting. Well, come on. We can discuss it on the train. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. 
We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you? Aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Hmm. So this drop near Spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. Hey, big guy. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon. No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Yield, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. There he is! Hey! Come show off the spear! See what we done! Now do the thing! Oh, look at that! She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am... tired. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Someone. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Say, Faye. Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think the mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Ray. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. <laughs> Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? I'm building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? <laughs> Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Dude, hey. It's true. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that, a, that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, <laughs> it didn't. It didn't hurt, also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right, okay. Uh, here, then take this. And, uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And, uh, Atreus, see you later. And Throod. Bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. <laughs> the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later. It's a lot more complicated than you think. You don't need to know why things are done. But I'm old enough. This isn't about your age. Then what is it about? Because by this point, Magni and Modi were set on the path that led to their death. I don't understand. You never try to. Then help me. Why are you so intent to walk the same path? And with that boy, no less. It's not about him. I just, this is my dream. Haven't you ever? You're not some farmhand. We are Aesir. We have duties, not dreams. And you need to start acting like it. Sometimes I hate you. Huh. Out of here. Maybe Odin's down in this library. I just don't get it. The mask, bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. I finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? The first giant? Tell me, can you murder a landslide? 
smother a storm. It was more, a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust you. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside, and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this, and I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's got to be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lau should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? The mere said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Through. Too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. Now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Let's find that mask piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. Well, what other heinous crimes has my grandfather committed? Let's see. He decimated Vanaheim, tortured Tyr, murdered Groa, murdered Amir. He goes on and on. Interesting. And where'd you hear all this? Freya and Amir told me. Oh, so his traitorous ex-wife and a bitter former advisor. Got it. Look, you don't believe me, but... No, I don't. Either you're full of crap or you're a hypocrite for helping him. Can we just focus on the mission? Well, there's a big hole up there now. Could be I got this. Around. Uh huh. Sure you do. Hey, we're okay, right? I guess. Maybe our families are just meant to be enemies. Well, not us. I don't believe that. Maybe we can use the big crate. What I do believe is that you'll make a great Valkyrie. I'll tell your mom the same thing. Even if she scares the life out of me. That means a lot. Thanks. Now, we have a masterpiece to find. Let me get that for you. <laughs> okay, this thing is really fighting me. See anything in there?
Easy up! There! Nice! Whatever you shot crashed through the floor again. Let's head back and check it out. So, I talk about my mom a lot. What's your dad like? He's intense. Like he's trying to force me into this mold. But I'm not sure that's me. Oof. Well, I know exactly what that's like. Thing is, I don't know what I want. I love that you do. You'll figure it out. Oh, sweet. So, how'd you know you wanted to be a Valkyrie? I didn't always. After a bad fight with Mom, I snuck out and found them training. Somehow, every movement they made had such a purpose. Like they knew exactly where they needed to be. And in that moment, so did I. So, where to now? Looks like it's through here. So training gave me... Too heavy? Shut up. Something's blocking it. I'll take a look. But I want to hear the rest. Deal. Too heavy. Have you seen these arms? Let's see. Not bad. I know. Not yet. As I was saying, seeing the Valkyries fight, all the strength and style, the apology, it gave me clarity. For the first time, I saw my path forward, clear as day. Who's that? Don't look at me. You're the one who's been here before. It's probably nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. Gotta get out of here. The mask. We're so close. Besides, I don't think it's dangerous. Are we looking at the same thing? Maybe he's locked up for a good reason. I can feel what he's feeling. It's a giant thing. Look, he just wants to be free. The peace must be behind him. Trust me. All right, let's start with the lock not near its teeth. There was another one under his foot. You're welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. Down in the water or something? There's... How? It's not responding anymore. This has never happened. But you said trust you. And we let that thing loose. Grandfather's gonna kill me. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Through. 
Wait up. Maybe we missed it. Maybe it's back here somewhere. Through. Through. It's it's gonna be okay. How I... can you say that? I shouldn't have listened to you. Look, if I made a mistake, I'll fix it. I can find the piece. There's holes between realms, right? <laughs> well, I suppose I should expect nothing less from half-breeds. Don't call me a half-breed. <clears throat> I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do exactly? <sighs> you see, Everyone takes it easy on you because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat, drunken, utter uh, piece uh, of trash! Uh, uh, hey! Again! Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. have a lot to learn, little girl, starting with who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> oh. You really believe the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please. Do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! <laughs> so close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Well, it worked. Uh, well, uh, you toddlers are boring. If you are finished throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. Because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the all -Bot. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Boogin! He's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. Father will have my back. After the Allfather sent him away sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar, I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost moving if we could only somehow harness your uselessness we could fuel this entire city fine it's all on me just leave her out of it i don't need your help loki sorry save her for the all father we have a lot to discuss loki i'll meet you in your room when i'm finished here shouldn't be long okay my mission went quite well, our father. Secured the item we've discussed. The mask, on the other hand, well, they are merely children. The adults need to talk now, Loki. Run along and play.
Thanks a lot. Throod, I... I don't want to hear it. Everything was fine until you showed up. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I don't really want to talk right now. May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm, <laughs> that was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard, but everywhere else. I think I want to go home now. Okay, if that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice, go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Loki, when you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugin will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. Never thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. If you're staying, you might be waiting a while. No, no, no! It's you! Wait, it's you! Protect yourself! Tell me when! Lassa Reef. Lassa Reef. Lassa Reef. Father! Off your back. Help Freya. I will draw them to me. No thanks to you. Where is Atreus? Atreus? Has the runaway returned and brought all this with him? God, just hold still. I told you I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. And quit your blubbering.
what has happened. It's all my fault. The Hellwalkers... They're everywhere. Everywhere. That is not your fault. Yes, it is. There was a wolf in hell. He was in chains and... And I set him free. I, I thought that if... Garm! Great bleeding fuck lad, you freed Garm! Garm? Who freed Garm? That's madness. Surely not you, young one. If the Hound of Hell is loose, he'll chew through the fabric of the realms. Hellwalkers are just the beginning. What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck-up of not insignificant proportions. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Leave him. Atreus has made a mistake. One that we will fix together. Grand. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather stay here. I've had my fill of visits to Helheim. <sighs> One problem. Excuse I might drive away back to Alon. Perhaps the squirrel trip. does. I need to speak with you at once. At once, I say. This is no time to dilly-dally. Gentlemen, I apologize for my brusque tone, but whatever has lately transpired in Helheim is completely unacceptable. I must insist you remedy the situation without further delay. I implore you, return to Helheim post-haste, and, and do try not to fuck up. Aren't you gonna, you know, reprimand me? No. I am relieved. You are safe. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should run away more often. Atreus. Kidding. Sorry. So where'd the new spear come from? Brock made it. From Dropnir. What's that? A ring. Uh, what's its story? I do not know. You were not there to ask. Dangerous. I know. Did Odin ask you to free that creature? What? No. Why? Are you not working with him? It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain. <sighs> Your work for Odin. You said it is hard to explain. Why? I just need you to trust me. I know I have no right to ask. Can you anyway? What does he have that you need? Why can you not tell me? It's complicated. What about you? Why do you have a new weapon? I thought you didn't want war. I do not. But... Complicated? Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. And don't worry about Odin. I'm not going back there. That is good to hear. A realm tear. Arm's been busy.
not preparing for Ragnarok. And seriously, why the spear? I shared. It's your turn. We are not the same. I am the parent. You're ducking the question. What is your plan? I'm sort of making it up as I go. But you're not talking about Varn. You cannot outsmart Odin. It's worked so far. Has it? Now what? I'm gonna try to tame it. Tame it? Sure. I've tamed wolves before. Transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, do it my way. Yes, sir. Can't we try and... We have the power to limit the harm this creature can cause. We will use it. Okay. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. While you are gone, I sought the Norns. They told me Heimdall intended to kill you in Asgard. Heimdall? The Norns? I thought you didn't believe in that.
find him. The dead will keep flooding the realms. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he? We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do when Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah. Let's see if it's up. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I knew. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? I missed you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it! 
Giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets? No. A promise. Even that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to Mom? See what I can do when you trust me? told you Heimdall was going to try and kill me. That's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? War. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. There's six tears to close, and, uh, not to expect thanks. They shouldn't have been open in the first place. She is not wrong. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Be sorry, Father. Be better. <laughs> Let's go home. Nothing 
is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. back. How did it go? The beast should travel us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandre? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. 
Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You are right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tyr. I believe you just might. So what happened the last time you were in Ben Arm? I still don't know how you got Frey to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. You met Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, what? It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, tish-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor... and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How'd that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. At least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, it'd be a fellow giant. Very well. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skoll and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? 
They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Huh. Perhaps Freya will know. So, in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodespini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast. Not that fast. In Asgard, where else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. If it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said? It will not come to that. So, we report back to Hildesfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but... Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowthunder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir.
fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Big Fear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us that some of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. <laughs> the Norns said you'd kill Heimdall. But you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, Namir. What? The most annoying man alive. Alas, we're a meat hog. It was in our way. I, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Just... make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildesfini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. <laughs> Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! No. Oh. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. 
Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this, but we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Oh! Look at cool talk forever goes to you! So? Having fun yet? Oh well, you and me then! Oh. Oh, he is mad now, isn't he? Oh, wait. You expected the stick to give you an advantage? Any day now. Tell them. The sire of the Aesir. You are. Huh. Nice stick. What the? I can feel your frustration. Well, I'm waiting. Hey, careful! These are new braces. You actually hit me! Slow down! I don't remember the last time anyone hit me! Think you can bring down the Asgard! Hurry! Fuck! That's all this is! Oh, no, no, no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to cut him. <laughs> <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> Get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. <laughs> Slow down! How dare you cry and spare me?
really to us. That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. Hey, a little help? At least the rescue's going well. I will carry him. You what? No, I can make it. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow! Easy! To me! Follow! Can we, uh, get company back here? Oh, oh no. Okay, okay. Uh, we're almost there, right? Archers ahead! Oh, seriously? No! Go! them for long. seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that.
Damn it, Pierre. You really think that's the end of Birger? You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck, you says it made for. I ain't the one to stuff you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vadaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Prophecy holds that Galahorn is the Herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Hold it, Treus. We will discuss in private. Find that orb yet? <laughs> oh, definitely need that. Heimdall is dead. Good. Is it? Look, I don't know from faith. But I know Heimdall was a prize-winning taint stain with the capital stamp. If he was gonna hurt your boy, it's a good thing he ain't around no more. The Norns didn't quite see it that way. The opinion of them three shut-in spinsters ain't worth a goat fart in a hurricane. You did what you did. No need to fret about it. Brock, when you knew Faye, was she... Let me stop you right there, Joe. Brock ain't one to go breaking no confidences. Not even when it comes to the dearly departed. You don't hear me spreading your business all over town, do you? Smiths don't blab. It's just how it's gotta be. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Gjallarhorn is supposed to do. It's blown by a god. It sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blown somewhere like Tyr's Temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. You are the best. You have always been the best. Hey, tell her she's the best. Oh, you're back. The heroes of the hour. I want to hear everything. I mean, when you're ready, I'm not giving orders here, am I? Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Because you make things better. You always have. Since, since we were kids. I've Enough. 
Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that, Dean. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can't... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, Awaken the mask, get answers. Maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Trace, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father. I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. I hope you know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have me. And therein lies a tale. All right, Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. Ay, lad, wouldn't that be? Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir, I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. Here we go. Oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. Mm. It's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> so, I was.
was right about your nest. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. And where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Ingraboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions. But he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you... Would you take care of Finn while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Good night, boy. <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Help Odin complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? It's probably in the study. If you had nothing to do with it, then why are you here? Just because someone isn't here to defend themselves doesn't mean they're guilty. And it's kind of messed up logic. Hey, uh, sorry for interrupting. <laughs> You're not interrupting anything. Forsetti's investigating. So the truth will come out soon enough. I hope it does. Okay. Panic does nothing. Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well... I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything, something noteworthy? I mean, you know, he did sock through it pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out, got even, I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know, honest. Well, I had to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but... it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else. Entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask. Take the sword. Take the bird. Find Thor. I'm going to Niflheim. Yes, you too. Through? Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with grandfather? No. 
I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I haven't yet, but I will. As soon as I come back. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to get under her skin later. Thanks, Loki. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. oh. Come on. They're not gonna let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. <laughs> It's fine. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so... If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but... Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the Allfather. Quiet! He's right. You should get going. <laughs> Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with his face. This isn't you. Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh, what? No, I... Oh, come on. No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... <laughs> That's enough! Oh, how I miss this! And he's still not! Helping more, don't you think? Oh, oh. Hey. Thinking too much. Seriously? Come
his arms. Let's get him out of here. Yes, good fight. <gasps> I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No, no. It's fine. Really. <sighs> hey, I'm strong, but you gotta help me out here. It's not that far. Get up. Ah, Thrudy. You are going to Niflheim with Loki. All father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... Mom and I are here for you, even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. or something.
Let's make this quick. You in a hurry to get back to Asgard? Just get us to that mask piece. One pathway coming up. You enjoying the freedom? Out here without Fabio looking over your shoulder. I, uh, well, yeah, I guess. It's different from what I'm used to, in a good way. Looks like we gotta get up that cliff. Try for me. No thinking. <laughs> it's better when I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> It's here. Gotcha. Phew. That was close. Um, thanks. Or Wasn't about to lose that man. Loki, you did it. We are on the verge of great things. All of our work together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the Allfather's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? You... You kill my son. Sleep in your beds. Turn my father against me, my daughter. I have no idea what's happening. You know, I finally thought of something I can teach you. Hey, you stand now! Think we better be right. Where do you go? Sindri, Ugh. you sure know how to plan an exit. Atreus. <sighs> Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait, why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh, thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Mimir. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Putting off the inevitable. Exactly! It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep. Hmm.
Just gonna let them eat the reality then, eh? Real heroic. Ha! Ah, good! I have something important to ask of you. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the full seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. Speaking of, here, take some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilus asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning. And now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it! Well then, so, what else? who else are we likely to encounter amongst your detachable emotional apparitions? Well, there's certainly no avoiding anxiety. Oh no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. Kratos. What do you think? This mask. The easy answers that it promises. I know this. Shortcuts always have a price. Atreus, you have carried it. What do you think? I think it's a chance. At worst, we'll have something Odin wants as leverage. At best, if it really gives us all the answers, then we can make our own path. And nobody has to die. Hmm. Grand. Now all we need is a way to Asgard. I know I've been a burden to you all. I know you've questioned why you even pulled me out of that hole. I have too. But it's clear now. This is what I'm needed for. This is my purpose. One last time, I will pick up my spear and I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me, but if you got a way to Asgard, where's that idea been this whole fucking while? That's rather a fair question, brother. You withheld Asgard. You would have gotten us all killed, and we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. Mm. Works for me. Let's do it then, and quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it. It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where then? Let me collect my things and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Rock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Rock, it's okay. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey! I'm talking to you! Oh, you never shut up! Run! Pull the face, Holden. Let go of the boy and face me! Tell your brother to throw me the mask and you've got a deal. Stop moving. Freya, if he dies. No, no. It wasn't part of the plan, but if he dies, we are square for Heimdall. 
And honestly, you got a bargain. I will kill you. Plan on that. Mm -hmm. So nice spending time with you again. Freya, please. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be in two places at once, Frig. Hey! I don't move, you don't move. Don't do anything, you won't crack. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. I am in control here! Throw me the mask! Now! You have to save him. You have to. He can't. You can't. Maybe if I go back to the lake. Stop me. I know what you've done. And I forgive you. You gotta stop. You gotta let go. Right. This whole time. So, uh, what do we do now? Now? Now we kill Odin and anyone who gets in our way. You can't run away from this, Kratos. Odin won't stop until we stop him! We need you here! Father, can we? I... I want to go hunting. I will follow. We are with you, Atreus. Here. Which way we headed, lad? In the direction of deer. feeling its effects. We're heading the right way. There's broken branches over there. Come on. I keep seeing it. The knife 
Brock? Sindri's face? Son. There it is. Accuracy over speed. Why? That was running. And so are we. I don't understand. When an animal is wounded, it must stop the bleeding, or it will die. We have been wounded, and this... This is a distraction. It's my fault. No. No. You should find Sindri. I have a pretty good idea where he might be. Is it okay if we take the sleds? I need to think about what I'm gonna say to him. Of course. <clears throat> Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of my mistakes. Our actions have consequences. To be reminded of them is not punishment. Feels like it. If I had just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all, stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. We can take the sled when you're ready. Here's Temple. That's where we're at. Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Hendry did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, little brother. When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like Brock, leaves its corporeal form. Well, it can't reach the lake of souls. 
He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. It's really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. No. It was stupid of me to help in the first place. when the lake was still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. I will follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you want to sail, do it toward somewhere. The lift at the end of the bridge should still work. We can get up to the temple that way. Yes. What makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. Sindri, I... I'm so sorry. No. I... No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. Would that be the Odin you invited into my home? We were all fooled. Oh. But some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills. My friendship. My home. My secrets. My treasures. And you just kept taking. And now what have I got? <laughs> Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I... What can we do? We... There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do... is get the fuck out of my sight! Come on, Chagas. family too. We were.
Is there? No. But I know I'll feel better when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. We must return to Freya. When we were back in Svartalfheim, looking for ah! Sia, this isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know Atreus. We know. We really took everything from Sindri. Don't take a heart once said in grief, Atreus. No matter how spot on they feel. I know we should go see Freya, but... Ah, but enough of that for now. Are we even sure Freya will still be at the house? Don't see why not. Odin's back door in was also his way out. Without the blasted raven apparently hiding in the broom closet, the house should be secure. And she will not turn away allies in her vengeance. Aye, it's all our vengeance now. And no more fake Tyr to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tyr's desire for peace. And mine. You're back. Are you with us? Mm. Good. It's time. Time for what, dare I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail, or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not so. Go on. It means we enter from Tyr's temple, here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means we need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call Numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Surtur. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. But just like that. Unite the elves after centuries of war. Well. They really like me and I'll find. And you? To Valheim? Yes. To find Sigrun and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. Nor Niflheim, nor Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. <sighs> so be it. Good luck to us all. You said you know where to look for Surtur. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in his shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look, when we find Surtur, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh my. Apologies. 
I have some doubts regarding negotiations with Rosfelder and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, uh, deceased. Mimir, you're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey, I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready? Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're going to feel about it now. You would try to force these primordial beings into submission. Well, I don't know. We can't win this war without them, right? Well, either it isn't him, or he's ignoring us. Come on. Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey, that wasn't... We deal with these fuck. That is Surtur. He's got a lot to answer for. As you said, we need him. I won't help you. Who are you? Who you seek. And what's left on him. Why won't you help us? I don't... want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. Not her heart. She's got mine. It's not much. But it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. Will succeed, and all realms save Asgard will fall. Yeah, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? Hmm. Yeah, there's primordial fire in those. They are not of these lands. Shouldn't matter. What could? Put those in here. And I'll become your monster. But I don't want her involved at all. But the prophecy says you two have to combine. Sure this will work? What have I got to live for? Not here. 
Follow me. Where do we go? Spark the world. Which is? The place where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this. Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic. Primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. I'll get big. Smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Don't know. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn, right? Yeah. Then we're good. Sort of, were you? Yeah. At the beginning of everything? Yeah. What was it like? <sighs> Loud. So... Here it is. The spark of the world. Whoa, this is beautiful. I'll meet you, Cross. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Yellow One. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that, too. This is it. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes... ...loving someone is about... ...choosing... ...the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. I promise... ...you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blade gonna be enough to create this new you? Sinmara's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the spark's fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. This will hurt.
How long do you think this is gonna take? Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. <laughs> Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win! Groa was right. Groa failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. So, you fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. Brother, how did it go? And yes, my usefulness to a certain Vanny of Numpty did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? Leave some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? Well, 
This is it then. The beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack. So there's time. <laughs> Oh, sounds like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Surtur didn't want Samar involved, so instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok beast, we did a workaround that left her out of it. Well, hopefully he still shows up at Ragnarok to plunge his sword into the heart of Asgard. And where is that exactly? Only Surtur knows. Okay, ready when you are. The armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that. They are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hell's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok feast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Amir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion, a siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors, I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. 
Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Yet do I may have lost a step. <laughs> do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight? story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, he... 
Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Does my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. Mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? <laughs> In my land, we entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. once tried to take charge of your envy, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Say, do you feel your absence? <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. To grieve deeply. 
is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. One more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered enough. No matter the cost. This ends today. But going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too? 
Might as well be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock. after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. We've got to stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. to do. Giant Giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Herjars link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. There's still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Mm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Huntawa. <laughs> there! That pillar is standing on the fleet! Even if we can breach the wall. Perhaps it is better this way. Better for who? The dwarves are here. Way to go, Sindri. Ah, it's just Sindri. I know, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Sindri! Save please. it! Odin forced them to build those war machines. They're here to tear them down. Before you break them. We must turn them on the floor. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to do it. 
what you wanted I, I didn't want this oh close your heart to it close your heart who are they my guardians Odin took them in they shouldn't be here they're not soldiers Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... ...everything. What are you doing? Size of that thing? Well, I think we're gonna win. Tell me if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we. We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Rimbus Flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice. Not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Prey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not my list before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Ah! No! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped and reach you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight.
you? No, I just want... I don't care what you want. This changes nothing. me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies dude you're okay my mom was right about you all along you're a killer just like your father and you're here to kill us all no just odin <laughs> sindri go she's a friend friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep loki you're right you're right i i, I made some bad decisions you do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Gilder okay? Have, have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem in front of him. The Guardians. Your friend. Our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it, it has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? But our family... Without Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. You don't owe him your death. Oh, shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally. Yeah, well, hey, sorry, he's, uh, he's not. 
Great launch. That's where we gotta go. Yeah. I didn't want to listen. That may not be our biggest problem right now. Roman Danger! Get back to your sister. You must hold back Ragnarok. This fight is mine. But if I could just. Take Atreus in the mask and do not look back. My son trusts you, so I'll trust you. Stay away from her! Can I wait? I am done with you and your son! No more fucking games! And this time, I'm allowed to kill you. We do not need to do this! We do! It's what we are! Damn it! I can take it! And you! Won't be enough! Thor! The last thing to think you've changed! Prove it and stop this! Talking's over! Wait oh. and die! Try to hurt her!
I would not. Don't you know what I've done? Yes! But what will you do now? We don't change. I destroy us. No more. No more. For the sake of our children, we must be better. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk! You don't think! I think you kill! It's a simple fucking concept! Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill! I did not want this. No! Rude. This was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything around here. Your own son? You grand on Rude's gonna be fine. I saved her. And Thor. That one's on you. You turned them against me. You turned them all against me. Was this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Not quite yet. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore! <laughs> That's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. Oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. Bow to your queen. I always loved you. You know, you've never loved anyone. Real Father? Freya?
You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Groa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on the mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation. Unfold the secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. to be nothing! So be it. our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms. Or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apfra, Desu, Sofna. Hey, son. Sofna. 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 I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. I 
And now that I'm here... I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters. Ragnarok. He's here. is your own. Follow it, and you'll end up right where you're supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. Glad you've come back to us. Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Air. How did we all get here? With the towers, your friend with the really big wolf, and our Valkyrie gift for transporting the worthy, we were able to bring the survivors here to hold Mimi's Holt. Are there many survivors? More than we could have hoped for. We're tending the wounded here, but others have begun to set up camp further in the hole. Sorry. I should really find my father. Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Hush. Throat. I won't. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea. And. I'm sorry. Thor. He was. He tried. You know? I'm sorry. I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope. There's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki, it was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and through. 
I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Lugan made it out. Good for him. Oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, Killed she... It? Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a Sorry, blur. I'm glad you're okay. I just gotta make sure my dad is too. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Go find him! Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. It's cool. Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And Freya's sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freya fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh. When we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man. But the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all go back to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you! Y'all remember that time old Keith walked near caught on fire? <laughs> If I remember correctly, it was you who lit it on fire in the first place. Well, uh, we're not, not on purpose. How was I supposed to know it was so easily flammable? It wasn't. You were showing off an enchanted bell. I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya, it was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior. But even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen, I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me, mentored me, and, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No, I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Uh, I love you too, little brother. See him, Amir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildes Vini. today, boy. I'm so proud of you. <clears throat> Maybe later, we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know him. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you're ready.
thank you for saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions? I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I, I just don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are, too. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok. You promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He was to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people to protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there. And I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but... They're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but... I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend.
Son. You are ready. Remember our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains. You see in there, brother. Well, one I had never imagined. And what now? See to it. Together.
Ah, uh, Freya. We should probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess, your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she finds us. And another one for the big boy himself. Skull! Skull! Skull. We can hold a few dozen for Cap. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. General, Lady Freya, Mimir, my lady. Shield maidens. Bless Athor. Have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? Not yet. Soon. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern in Svartalfine. I'd like to go. to have left that behind. What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just, uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. We're meeting at Rab's Tavern in Nithavalir. We will be there. Hell of a job you did at Ragnarok, General. Wish I could have been there to see you and Sindri take damn Thor and Odin. That is not what happened. Yeah, maybe not, but it's the story I like best. Profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> One, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi, y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's, uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. Damn it. What is wrong? I should have... Changed. So in some morning guard. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. So, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> 
Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Oh, come on, surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin. It's bigger the more you take away.
I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or whatever you. But if there is, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. I wrote that dirge for him. What's it called? Something profane. He wouldn't have it any other way. Forgive Sindri, he's just, uh, I mean, you know. 